all right hello everyone and peace of christ to all of you please invite your friends and if you are uh, like muhammad invite your 13 wives and uh, all the hundreds of uh, slaves and yet uh, they claim that he was poor hmm. so uh, today our topic is who is muhammad and who is allah and by the way usually uh, saturday friday sunday we go live on air in the quality of life so today is an exception uh, because yesterday we stayed there for a good time and i said let us give them a break tomorrow we will be in the quality of life the account there if you'd like to join us mostly tomorrow in the morning we will be there and we will have different topic in that place so uh, if you'd like to join us don't forget to subscribe to that channel quality of life uh, who is muhammad who is allah i have my skype open for Muslims only it's a challenge not a single Muslim knows who is Allah not a single Muslim can prove to us even that Muhammad was exist they have no proof whatsoever of anything all the books Muslims they have is written hundreds of years after Muhammad Sahih al-Bukhari Sahih Muslim all this madness who is Muhammad they don't know even according to their stories, Muhammad cannot be exist. Why? Because the story says that Muhammad was born four years after his father's death. Like, hello? And this is why the Muslims believe that a woman, she can be pregnant for uh, 10 years. But the most like popular number they agree upon is four years. Just to cover the issue of Muhammad. Muhammad, uh, his mother, she gave birth to him four years after. Who is this guy, Muhammad? Who is Allah? They don't know. You know, and uh, like just to show you how, how Islam uh, function. Muslims, they are copy-paste people. They have nobody even is willing to study his religion. And those who study, they don't dare even to answer. And they answer only in your back. As an example, here we go. All those who make videos against what I'm saying. And they say Christian Prince is lying. And they say they got a Christian prince busted. Not even a single one of them dare to call me. We ask them, okay, give me your Skype. I will call you. They don't give us their Skype to call them. They claim that Allah, he ordered Muhammad, uh, sorry, he ordered Abraham uh, to rebuild the Kaaba. But supposedly the one who built the Kaaba first time, it was the angels of Allah. Okay, the angels of Allah, they build the house, <clears throat> and this is supposedly the house of Allah. Okay, what? Why Allah? He need a house for him there. What, what is exactly the purpose of this house? You see, I can say the house of God is any house where you make it the house of worship, but this is no. This is different. This is a house of God, and this house of God. When a Christian army came from Ethiopia to destroy it, Allah, he sent an army of birds and they throw rocks at the army. In order what? To protect this house of Allah. But then we see in history, in Islamic books, that many people, they destroy the Kaaba and they even burn it. And there's no birds appear. And the funny that Allah, he protect the Kaaba by sending flying uh, uh, birds who carry stones like uh, F-16. But Allah will not send those birds to protect the Kaaba when it was only under the control of Muslims. To make it simple for you, Allah, he protect the Kaaba according to Muslim story. <clears throat> when the Kaaba was under the control of the pagan, which means there is a 360 something pagan idol around it and inside it so Allah did not send any see the chapter is called Al-Fil Al-Fil mean the elephant why it's called the elephant very silly stupid story supposedly uh, 
an army who came to destroy the Kaaba and this army have elephant which is very funny because a uh, very stupid too because you cannot make an army of elephants go through the desert every elephant he need at least 600 liter of water to drink a day additional to that he need more water to keep his body cool because elephant they do not sweat which means if they do not go in water during the daytime during the sun heat they die so they want to convince us that there's an army came all the way from ethiopia having elephant and they went all the way to mecca where there's no rivers there's nothing there's nothing in the way to drink from and then allah he sent birds and then those birds they throw rocks and those rocks are backed <laughs> what make it more funny that those are striking with rocks and those rocks are back let us see maybe we have a muslim is calling hello hello my friend hello hello yes you, you are live on air are you a muslim my friend i'm from indonesia are you a muslim You can hear me? I hear you. Are you a Muslim? Yeah, I'm Muslim. All right. Do you believe in the story of the elephant? Sorry? Mute YouTube and hear me only from scratch. Sorry? Mute YouTube. Yeah. All right. I'm on. Okay. Mute YouTube so you can hear me only from Skype if you don't mind. I'm only hear you from the Skype. All right. Uh, I have in front of me chapter 105. It's called the chapter of the elephant. Do you really believe that Allah, he sent birds and he, uh, he, he gave those birds stone which is backed and they throw their rocks at the elephant? Do you, re do you believe in this story? Yeah, I believe it. Hmm. Why you believe it? What is the proof of it? Because it's read. On the Al-Quran. It's what? It's read right on Al-Quran. I'm sorry be uh, before so, I cannot so, speak this so, very well. Okay, it's no problem. So if it's in the Quran, then you believe it. But how elephant they will go in the desert? Sorry, I can hear you. How elephant they can go in the desert? The desert, there's no water. Elephant need water. You are from Indonesia and you know that. So... How elephant they can go in the desert all the way from Ethiopia. Do you know how far Ethiopia is? All the way from Ethiopia coming all the way to Mecca without water. I, I never seen elephant in in desert. What do you mean? So who cares? The desert is desert. There's no river. There's no river in Saudi Arabia. So how those elephants, they will go and survive all the way until they arrive to Mecca. And the one who call himself uh, ultimate truth, it, uh, make a new name and call me so we can laugh together. So everybody can laugh at you, ultimate truth. Call me after, he, after this gentleman he finish. Let us see who is the daddy. So what do you think, my friend? <clears throat> There's no water and elephant, they cannot come all the way to Mecca. Secondly, there is any witness for this uh, attack? Nobody. This is legion. Number three, Allah, he sent birds and those birds, they carry stone which is backed by clay. Why Allah did not send birds to destroy the army of Al-Qurmuti, which he destroyed the Kaaba, killed more than 10,000 Muslims, and he took the stone for more than 21 years. And not only that, Al-Qurmuti, he was screaming in the middle of the Kaaba saying, Hey Allah, where is your birds? Where is your birds? So how come Allah did not protect the Kaaba when it was under the control of Muslims only and no birds appear and the guy destroyed the Kaaba, stole the black stone and he made fun of Allah? But Allah, he protect the Kaaba when this Kaaba was under the control of the pagan and there is a 360 idols around it. Are you there? What happened? Did he go? Ah, he's gone. 
<clears throat> All right. What is this guy? He call himself ultimate truth. He claimed that he can call me. You idiot. Each time we give you a call, you talk like a potato, like a chicken, blah, 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 blah. You never stop talking and you say nothing and we laugh at you at the end. Call me and everybody will laugh again. I, I'm, I'm just having fun today. Ultimate uh, fart. Call so we can laugh. <laughs> Who is a Muslim? He have any answer. This story cannot be true and there is no proof of it and there is no witnesses for it and this is a stupid story. If you Muslims, you believe that Allah, he sent bird to protect the Kaaba. So why Saudi Arabia is buying all the weapons from USA? Allah protect the Mecca, that's it. This is a holy land, Allah will protect it. You do not need an army, you do not need an missiles, you do not need F-16, you do not need the awaks of the American. Who is the one who protect your Mecca from Saddam Hussein? It was the American. And not only that, all of us, we knew that the Muslim this the claim that Allah is the one who built the Kaaba. Look at this Kaaba. Look at this. This Kaaba is a flooded by sewage. And Allah could not fix it. The one who fixed it, it was the American, the American engineering. So what kind of God? He chose a location of a house and he chose it in the worst location in Mecca where each time some rain happened, all the sewage and the poo, poo because as you know, in Mecca, there's no sewage line. People, they have a, they dig a hole beside their house and all the poo, poo go there. So when the, when the flood happened, all the poo, poo will swim and go to the lowest point, which is Mecca Kaaba. How in the world does God, he choose the location and he choose the worst location. So imagine I am a person who want to buy a house or build a house. And where I go, I choose the most stupid location ever and I build my house. Actually, this is alone in front of your eyes is enough proof that Islam is false and all the stories the Muslims they have is nothing but legions, stupid and doesn't make sense. And here we go. This is your Kaaba flooded, covered by sewage. <clears throat> oh. You were all than the Rubika, uh, a, a truth, a truth. Listen, you see, this is this is the this is the stupidity of those people. Uh, the most time they claim that there is a woman. Her name is Rubika. She married at the age of three. There is no proof of that. This is stupid. If I saw a girl, she was at the age of three, and then I see her again, and then later I marry her. That mean does not mean she is a three. You idiot. If I saw a person when, I, when he was at the, at the age of three, and then I see him again after many years, stupid people, they are desperate. You want to talk about child molestation? Well, here we go. Your prophet, he married a girl. She is six years old. Secondly, I challenge anyone to show us a clear proof of what you are saying. This is your assumption, and you know, you are desperate, stupid. And why I want to call you, you call me. You make any name on Skype, you can make a Skype name, and so we can die laughing. And why you are changing the topic to talk about Rebecca? Are you ashamed of the stupid Kaaba? Is that a fabricated image? What kind of God, he don't know how to choose and where to choose his house to be located? How Allah, he sent an army of, elef, an army of birth to save the Kaaba from being destroyed? But Allah cannot use his finger to hide, to, to lift up the Kaaba to make it higher, like maybe a few meters higher, and that, that will save the Kaaba from the flood. Can't Allah order the earth under the Kaaba in this little tiny spot to go up a little bit? Can't he? If he's God? Very trashy, false accusation. They have nothing to say. But as we see in the front of us, we have a clear evidence. 
Allah he sent angels, the angels they placed the black stone, the Kaaba was built 40 years, Adam he went to the Kaaba 40 years, Adam he came down in Sri Lanka, imagine, even they believe this is how, how stupid this cult, because this cult all of it is coming from India, this is an Indian religion, black stone, the same black stone the Hindus they have, the black stone is a symbolic of the fertility, if we go right now and we check the look of the black stone, it looked like what? It looked like a women private part. As simple as that. Let us check it out. <clears throat> and not only that, even Muslim books, the seer books, state clearly that the black stone it was white like milk, but the sin of mankind made it black. Why is that? They claim that women before Islam, they used to go around the Kaaba and they touch their private part when they are in their period. Why they do that? Because they want their private part to be fertilized. They want a baby. So the black stone is the fertility God stone. This is why women in Islamic books, this is not, I challenge anyone to say to me, you are a liar. I will show you the reference immediately. It's a challenge. Women, they use go to go around the Kaaba naked, men and women naked, totally naked, even in the time of Muhammad. And this is, this is why something stopped after, long after Muhammad took over the Kaaba. Why he did not, why the Quran never mentioned such a thing? Why the Quran never say to Muhammad, stop people going around the Kaaba naked, man? Never. Not a single verse about that. And not only that, another lie. They claim that the black stone is a stone sent by Allah. But do you know that there is no black stone in the black stone left? Just to show you how stupid this cult is. The black stone is little tiny rocks, is rocks together. There is no black stone. So let us think about it. If we go in the hadith, let us search for some hadith. Give me a second. <clears throat> Muhammad, he claimed that the black stone, Allah, he sent the black stone from heaven. Okay. We have a caller. Maybe this is the ultimate side, something. Hello? Yeah, this is your, da your daddy ultimate truth. Uh, listen, listen, either you speak like an adult or I will hang up on you. What do you want to say? Go ahead. Yeah, I want to be on your topic if you don't want to run away from Well, topic. my topic, here we go. We have a black stone sent by Allah. Do you agree with that? No. No. It, you were talking about the you were talking about the elephants in the desert. No right? problem. We go back to the elephant. No problem. Okay. So what what is what is the proof of the elephant story? You ask the guy if, if an elephant can be in the desert. Mm -hmm. Without water. That you, without water. So how can people be in the desert without water then? They, 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 they carry water with them. With, can you carry... Is your ancestors in there living in the can, desert? Can you carry water enough for an elephant? Our Our army of, of army of Where elephants... Where can any human being can be without an animal being able to be there? Are you a dummy? Something. Well, let us see who is the dummy. I'm asking you. Okay, an elephant is going in the desert. How he have enough water? I'm asking you. Go ahead. You are the small. The you, elephant, see, you are a small person. All, okay. Listen. Hmm. Listen. Mm -hmm. First of all, in the in the story, hmm. Abraham was hmm. coming from Ethiopia. He said Ethiopia, Ethiopia, hmm. Abraham was coming from Ethiopia. He was the he was the leader hmm. of Ethiopia, but he was coming from where? 
From where? I don't know. It what is the story? What? From where? Yemen, right? Why are you so, saying Ethiopia? So in Yemen there's elephants? Why can't you have an elephant go there? Okay, the, you no, I'm asking you, you in, 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 in Yemen, I'm elephant. asking you, hold on, hold on. You are the one who said it's coming from Yemen. In Yemen, there's elephants? They can't go there? This is not a question. If there, if there is any, if there is any, okay, so so now what you are saying, okay, hold on, hold on. So, so what you are saying, okay, just to make it clear, are they coming from Yemen? Are they, if there is elephant in Yemen, either you say yes or you say no? Yes. You go to the zoo, you find some elephant. In the zoo, the only see, the, the only thing I see in the zoo is you. What zoo? In the zoo, everybody there is zoo. Are you stupid or what? I'm asking you in Yemen. In Yemen, in Yemen, in the in the in, in Yemen, do we find elephant living by themselves? Don't tell me in the zoo, you idiot. Listen, do you see why I hang up on you? This is why I hang up on you because you are a kid. You are a kid. I'm asking you in El in Yemen, do elephant live in Yemen? Tell me. I think even elephant can be in, in the desert. What a dumb question. How he can go in the desert? Explain to me. He need water. The elephant, he needs 600 liters of water a day. How he can have that water? Where will he get the water from? Oh, so can any human being live without water? Nobody can live without water, but a human being can dig in the so, ground so, and a human so, being and those so are can, this is an so army. Can, this is an yeah, army. Listen, this is an listen, army in the live, this is an army in the move. Listen, 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 can, Abdul. Abdul, I want an answer. Do, listen, listen, don't don't, don't be stupid. You see why you see you see I hang up on you because you are a kid, you call you say nothing. I'm asking you. Let us let us slowly slowly hold on. Listen, listen, listen. So how how they provide okay. No problem. A human being, a human being, he can carry with him some water enough for him, but you cannot carry all this water for the army of elephants. An army? Who, who told you to, uh, an army? Well, is it the Quran? The okay, hold on. Is it the Quran says that this is an army of elephant? No, it said the people of the elephant. Elephant in the singular. Okay, so, so it was it was only elephant. It was one only one elephant with them. <laughs> okay, so, so, so hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, as how will feel those who accompany a company yes. elephant? Yeah, it says, yeah, but I'm asking you, so are you saying there's only one elephant with them? Does it say, no, ask the question. Does it say elephant in the singular or in the plural form? Answer the question. Please. It doesn't matter because in Arabic we say the, the one with the one. No, we say in Arabic, you see, you don't speak Arabic. You don't, you don't speak, you don't speak, you don't speak. Don't speak Ar okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. So one elephant, how he, this elephant, he can survive the heat of the desert? I said, does it say yes or no? One my elephant, my, 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 my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend, it's a, it's, it's a, it's a half elephant. Here we go. It's, it's a half, it is a half elephant. Here we go. Are you happy? It's a half elephant. How this half elephant can survive the heat of the desert? I said, I'm asking you, you just lied. Do you just accept that you just No, lied? you are the so one who's lying. Uh, in, in, in Arabic, oh, we say, in Arabic, it doesn't say one elephant, you idiot. It says the the, 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 the one who accompany the elephant. The one who accompany the elephant. But is it in the and singular or in the plural form? When you say the accompany the elephant does not mean it is one elephant. It says the one who they have elephant with them. Alfil, how do you say how does it say uh, two el three elephants in, in in Arabic? Say it. Look, the word is listening to you. It doesn't matter because in Arabic we can say the oh, one, say the, one the one, the one with the the one, the one with the car. It's mean he have a car with him. Oh, so lying. every you're one of them. Arabic. Okay, hold on. Listen, listen, listen. Okay, okay. Listen, listen, listen. Guys, ult ultimate thought. He had a point. Ultimate thought. He had a point. It was only one elephant. The question: How one elephant can survive the heat of the desert? No, no. You gotta accept first that you lied, saying that it was an. No, I did not lie. No, I did not lie. Okay, hold on. Okay, listen, listen. Are you answering me based on information you know, or just making a guess? I want you to stop freaking lying. I want you to start telling the truth. Okay. Say that you lied. What about what? Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let us see who. Let us see who is. Let us. Okay, Abdul. Yes or no? Let us see who is lying. No, it says as will feel those who accompany the elephant. So if they accompany elephant, doesn't mean there's one elephant. The people of 
people of the elephant. The people it's of the, singular. The people of the elephant. Okay, guys, it's the people yeah. of the elephant. Does that mean there's only one elephant? Yes. Okay. So so how so so how and so why are you a prophet naming the whole army by the elephant? What a big deal if it's one elephant. I'm asking you, did you lie or not? <laughs> no, I did not lie. You are you are, you are the liar. You, you are the stupid liar. So now answer me. The people of the elephant, it is a proof it's only one elephant. If elephant is put on a singular form, you mm. keep Okay, hold on. So, if an elephant is a singular form, it means there's only one elephant. So, if I show you, a, oh, hey, here we go. It's gone. <clears throat> Do you hear me, Abdul? Abdul. <laughs> he will change the topic to be about one elephant or many. <laughs> It is one or many, it doesn't matter. How the elephant can survive the heat of the desert without water? The elephant, he need not only to drink, he need water to spray over his body. He have actually to go deep, in, he have to go in the water. Not only he have, or he need to drink. So the story, all of it's fabricated. <clears throat> Are you there, Abdul? Hmm. He lost connection. He is using the, the the neighbor internet. Let us call him back. Hello. Yes. Okay. So uh, so again, it there's any proof it was only one elephant. I said uh, you need to stop lying. Yeah, well, let us see who is lying. Let us see. Let us see. Let no, us see. No, okay. Let, let us talk. let us see. Let, let us see who is let lying. Where do you get your so in it, so in the Quran? Okay, hold on, oh, hold on, oh, okay, hold, okay, okay, okay. I will go with you. I will go with you. Oh, I will go. Oh, I will go with you. Hold on, let me answer you. In the Quran, it says an angel. He said to Mary that you will have a baby. Is it an angel or many angels? In the Quran, it hmm. says when the angels and the other words, it says when our spirit. Don't be lying. Okay, okay. Let us see, guys. In one, in one, in one, in one, in one verse, it says the spirit, and the other uh, 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 verse says angels. Again? Did okay. You lie again? Ho say okay. Hold on. Is this is, is is the spirit? The spirit? Is, is the spirit is one angel or me? Okay. Let us let us see. Let 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 Abdul listen. The spirit is it an angel? Is is this a, is is a, Okay, let, hold on. Let us see. Let us see what's lying. So, if it's a spirit, why you Muslim translate it as angel? I said, did this say? Does it say the spirit or does it say an angel? I'm asking the question. Okay, is, it, is, it, is the spirit is singular or it is many? I'm telling you, it's a one spirit. Okay, no so so spirit. how so the how so it? how the other spirit, so how Gabriel, other okay so how Gabriel, other verse Gabriel, Abdul, Abdul Abdul so how other verse says angels if it is one? It's Gabriel that comes with okay. angels. Okay. So Gabriel is the one talking. Okay. So he came with the angels, but you but you just said in the case of the verse in the Quran, if it says elephant, it means there's only one elephant. But you just said now yes. that it says one spirit, one angel, but yet there's angels with him. No, it's one verse <laughs> saying the Gabriel, the angel, I mean the the spirit says, and another verse is said the angels. If the army of angels say God say the army, if God say plural, you say plural. Okay, hold God on. Okay, singular, okay. Hold, so, singular. so how many, an, how many angels? How many angels you gave them? How many angels? Uh, let us see. Let, let, let us see. Let us see who is lying. Listen, don't don't change the topic. We cannot. We cannot talk. Abdul, Abdul. We cannot talk. We cannot talk. We, we cannot we cannot talk in the same time listen so it is only one angel who spoke to mary saying to her you will have a baby or many digress from the subject let's stay on the field we let's are in the field, field. We, are, we, are, we, we just get you busted because in there in, in, in there in, in there you just admit yes or no you want to digress you want to run away from your subject that's your subject you say 
the Kaaba and the Ashab will feel. Let's talk about it. Because you want to run away every time I got you caught like a coward. So, you see, look, look who's the coward. Let me talk now. Did you finish? Did you finish? Yes. Okay, it's my, it's my time. Don't my time. My time. It's my time. It's, it's, it's my time. Don't, don't, it's, guys, I just asked him, it is one spirit who spoke to Mary or many angels? He said one. But in different verse, it says many angels they spoke to Mary. You're a damn liar. So, I told you two verses. You, you, you lie again. That's the third lie. I just said, yeah. I, 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 hold on. I, I, I don't stupid. I just say, I just said, it is the other verse, you idiot. I just, the other verse says, angels they spoke to Mary. Okay, so listen. So listen. Is, 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 is it one angel? Is it one angel or many angels spoke to Mary? There is no one angel said. It says angels in the plural or the spirit. Stop lying. Okay, and which one? Okay, you see, are, are you are you are you playing are you playing are you playing stupid? My question is very simple. Which one of them he gave the news? The one angel or the many angels? I said there's no one saying one angel. Okay, so Don't how? So okay, okay. Let me let us see. So how the verse saying that the angels say to Mary, "You will have a baby." Yeah, I told you. One says the angels and one <laughs> says the spirit. Okay, not, so, not the angels in the singular form. No, the because angels. The no, the okay. Hold, okay, lying. hold on, hold on, hold. Okay, listen. What do you do? You say right. okay. Let's uh, go back to your subject. This, Does it this, say yes this, or no? Yes, yes. Listen. Subject? Let me, let, guys. Listen, listen carefully. Listen carefully. Listen carefully. Listen carefully. Listen. In, in, in chapter three, in, in, cha in chapter three, in chapter three, let's talk about the potato. The potato. Let me. You see why I hang up on you? You don't let me talk. Yes, I okay. know you're gonna hang up on me because that's what I do. Okay. I expose your and you no, you just, you just, you, you just say there is a contradiction in the Quran. You, you just, no, we are not. Because if you are saying it is only one. If you are saying, if you are saying, it is only one elephant. Hold on! Don't force me to hang up on you. Let me talk. Coward! Let me talk. Coward! Coward! You are a coward. You see, I asked you to call me. Can can I talk? If you stay on your can I talk? Can I talk? It's up to you. No, I get you busted. Now you admitting in the Quran there's a contradiction because you said if it says one elephant, it's mean there cannot be one elephant. But the Quran says in one verse it was an angel who spoke to Mary. In another verse it says angels who spoke to Mary. So which one we have to accept? I'm going by I'm going by your theory. Liar, pull the verse saying that the one saying it was an angel first. Pull it out. Yeah, an angel. It says. Listen, that, people. It says that, he said an angel. Okay, hold on. Okay, all right. That's okay. Okay, let us see, guys. Remember, uh, angels with A N G E L, A N angel, A N, mm. then space A N G E L. Mm. Pull it out without an S. You are a liar. Okay, hold on. Pull it. Okay, I will pull it. Hold on, everybody. Everybody will see in a second, I and and, liar, I'll, and I will make you spirit. and I will make you. Hold on, hold on. Okay, the spirit. So is it singular or many? Is it the spirit? Okay, now, is it is it is it one or is, 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 is it so is, is, is that a spirit an angel? Is that a spirit? Are you are you Abdul Abdul? Are you are you a donkey? Okay, is okay the spirit is that is that Abdul Abdul the spirit? Shut up! Shut up! Let me talk! Let me talk! Let me let me talk! Let me let me talk! Coward potato! Let me talk! Hold on, hold on. Okay. Listen, listen, listen. Listen. You said that Jibril you said you said you said the spirit you said the spirit is Jibril, correct? I said one verse says this our spirit when we send our spirit to Mary. Is that Jibril? Is that one is that one is that one angel? Is that is that one in the plural form in the singular form in the plural form. Okay. You said it says an angel in the singular form. You liar. Are you stupid or what? When you say this is Jibril, is that one or many? I said Jibril <laughs> goes with 
an army of angels. Listen. That's how we send Gibriel. Okay, we he send to her. I want you to read. I want you to read. I, I want you to read with me. That Chapter 19, verse Gabriel, number 17. I want you to read Gabriel with me. Is a lead, either in the Bible and in the Quran, hmm. Gabriel is a lead of a group of angels. Okay. So, so, so are you saying that that elephant is a leader of the elephant too? Are you stupid or what? So no. Jibreel, guys, no. so when the Quran say, when the, when, when the when the when the Quran say, shut up, shut up, let me talk. When, when, when the Quran say, okay, so okay, so so what? Okay, who is the one who talk? Who is the one who? Who is the one who? When we say the Ashabul Aika, okay, people of the tree. What 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 you say? What what you say? What you say? No, no, no. One tree and no say, say three trees or five trees. Mm. Stop lying. Listen, when Allah uh, uh, say one tree. You okay. say one tree. If he says one elephant, you say one elephant. You don't say army of elephant. Damn liar. So it's on, so uh, so it's an angel or many angels. I said, is Gabriel with a group of angels that he used to be? No, it doesn't say that. Here we go. The angels, they spoke to Mary and they said to her that, you know, we came to you with the news. So why you are lying and saying it's read with me? Chapter, chapter, chapter three, chapter three. Okay. So how many angels? So how many angels? Okay. I'm, I'm, don't force me to hang up on you, you idiot. How many times? How many times? How many times? And you have to repeat the question: Is it one angel spoke to Mary, or many angels spoke to Mary? Is Gabriel and his angels accompanying him that spoke to Mary? Oh, oh, but the the other verse says only Gabriel spoke to Mary. That's that it. Only was yes. the fucking word only in there? Uh, did, you, did you say the that? Only did you there? say the F word about the Quran? The Quran when our did, spirit. Did you did you did you did you just did you just say did you did you just did you just say did you just say did you just say the F word to the Quran? Did you just did you just say did you did you did you just say faithy 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 as guilty? Listen, you just say it. You just made, you say the you F angel. You, you, you just say the F in angel. Gabriel, why? In, but now, why are you saying that the spirit is Gabriel now? I am not. You are the one who said that. You your donkey. You you said it was you 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 just said Gabriel. Yes. Why are you saying Gabriel? Well, who is he? You said you told me Gabriel. I ask you, who is the spirit? You said Gabriel. Did you say that? Did you say that? That? Did you say that that the spirit was not Gabriel? Did you say that? I ask you. I I ask you. I ask you. Who is the spirit? You said Jibril. I say, I, I. This is a debate we have a year ago. You lied about that. You said <laughs> that Jibril was not the spirit. Okay. Remember that? No, no. Uh, for me, no way. It says that you are the one who said to me. I ask you, who is the spirit? You said Jibril. It is Jibril, but you denied it. But now you, now you acting like it is. You, you see, I, I am, I'm just agreeing with you that you are a stupid. You, oh, I you, with because, you. because, you okay, me? okay, here we go. Okay, I, I will go with you. I will go with you. So if the word doesn't say, if, if, if the word does, if, don't, don't keep everybody laughing at you. Don't, don't force me to hang up on you. Listen, I'm having patience with you. So the verse says a spirit. So why you Muslim says an angel? Now let me prove to you. Now let me prove to you that. First of all, let me prove to you mm. that the spirit is Gabriel. Mm. Okay? You want to prove? No, no, no. That? Before you change, before you change, if the verse in the Quran says it's a spirit, so why you Muslim lie it says it's an angel? You should say spirit. I say spirit. Okay, so why you are saying it's an angel? So, so, so why you are so why you are saying why you are saying okay I'm, I'm, so so look so look look at look at your look at your hypocrisy when I say I say I say an army of elephants hold on that's not the debate here guys guys shut up shut up shut up shut up you will not let me talk call me after just two minutes coward you give me a headache guys when I say elephants he have saying <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. It's not an elephant. It's one elephant. Okay. The Quran says a spirit. It's an angel. The Quran says angels that spoke to Mary. It's an angel or an angels. So look at the coward. When he want, it's an angels. It's okay. 
when he don't want it is cannot be angels it's only one spirit why you are saying angel now it is a spirit we ask you who is this spirit you said this is the angel you breathe your donkey it's you who said that not me in the verse nowhere it says an angel so the hypocrisy is yours now we will take your take your call no we want uh, we want the same guy please the other muslim is calling we want ultimate fort specifically so we can love call again ultimate fort i hope you heard me and i want an answer we don't we cannot talk if you keep talking over me i'm going to hang up on you so i can talk call me again coward as guilty and he said the f word to the jibreel do you hear him saying the f word the f the, 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 the i'm not going to say the word the f jibreel the f in quran does the f in verse says that this is a guy calling me to defend the quran he is f in the quran i want this part to be in his introduction for your channel please call me back what happened Potato. Who is Hafsa? Hafsa. <laughs> Hello. 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 Can you hear me? Yeah, this is you, Hafsa. Hafsa. Okay. <laughs> His name is Hafsa. <laughs> what? Your name is Hafsa in, in Skype. Anyway, listen. So listen, Abdul. So did you, did you did you hear my question? Did you hear my question? No, I didn't hear your question. Okay, you said the F verse, the F in verse. How you F your Quran? I never said F in verse. I said only. You said the F in only. The F in only, only. But you are talking about the Quran. Only. The F in only what? The F in only what? You are replacing. You are replacing the F in angel, right? You are replacing. You are replacing a word in the. You are replacing the word in the Quran by. You are so only Gabriel. I said you invented a word and put it inside the verse and not only in the verse. Okay. So why, why say only? So so why you so why you okay? Listen, listen, Abdul. So the effing angel in the Quran is not an effing angel; it's an effing spirit. Is that okay? You are saying that? I said that nobody said an effing angel. I said the effing only. You put <laughs> the, the effing only. only the the effing only what? Why you put only the, in the effing? The effing only what? The effing only in the verse. Yes. yes, it says that it says only we send to her only one one spirit because it says it says we send all here we, here we go okay we send to her our spirit is our spirit is many or one our spirit that does it say only okay. our only spirit is, is it only our spirit uh, okay so our spirit is only one or many I said what listen I can teach you English I can teach you French. Je parle français, hablo, hablo espagnol. Can you teach me Arabic? Express. Can, can, can you teach me Arabic? Can you teach me can you teach me can you teach me Arabic? Okay. In here it says we send to her our spirit. Is our spirit one or many? Don't try. I speak six different languages. You are stupid. So, it, stop don't it. change that. I answer. I, I want the. You I want the answer. Language. I want the answer. So, is we send our and, spirit? Is it one or many? Écoute mon ami, je parle six different languages. Okay. So. Tais-toi. What is the answer? Tais. Shut the hell up. C'est pas à toi de m'apprendre. C'est pas à toi. Are you do, uh, are you do, are you doing muta now? Are you going to answer? Is it one or many? Are, is it one or many? Abdul, 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 you are wasting my time. Let us go back to the elephant. Let us go back to the elephant. You see, you are a donkey, such a fight donkey. Everybody is laughing at you, and, and I'm, I'm happy you are. I'm happy you called me. Look what this look what this guy doing. What he's doing? I'm telling you, you. I can teach you any language you want. Okay, teach me. I want you to read this verse for me. Okay, read this verse for me. Okay, read the verse. As long as you can teach me, I want you to read your Quran. Don't tell me you read all languages, but you cannot. So you know all languages, but you cannot know your Quran. Potato, don't force me to hang up on you. Can you read for me the verse in Arabic? No, that's what you do. That's what you do. Can you read? Can you read? Can you read for me the verse in Arabic? As long as you can teach me languages. I said. What verse you want me to read for you? The verse in the front of us, the one about Ruhana. 
I don't see any verse right now. Chap chapter 19, verse my, number 17. Chapter 19. I start off my YouTube. I'm on no Skype. problem. You can open. You can open your phone. Stop Listen. lying. You can open your if phone. I, I want you to teach me I Arabic. To As long you can phone, teach us languages, you speak them. many. You 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 will be able to hear me. You speak many languages. You speak many languages. Listen. I want you to read for me the verse in Arabic and tell me. Does it say one Listen. spirit or many spirits? Verse. verse. Tell me. If I might not. I might have it in my mind. I might not. <laughs> tell me. The chapter and the verse, I might, I might not have it. I mean, I don't memorize the whole Quran. I memorize a few verses in the Quran. I'm not That's asking it. you to memorize. I'm asking you, can you read the Bible. verse? Can you, can you read? Be memorizing the Bible. Can so, you read in Aramaic? No, you can't. Dummy. We don't have, we don't, we don't, we don't have to pray. You, you, you see, you are, you are stupid now. You are being stupid. Can you read Aramaic? Okay, let, let me ask you. Is the Quran saying that the Bible was sent in Aramaic? I said, did your Bible say that it was in Aramaic? I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Did, did Allah send the Bible? Did Allah send the Bible in Aramaic? Did the Bible? Did Allah says He sent the Bible? Coward, coward. Jesus speaking English. Was Jesus Christ speaking English? Yes or no? I'm asking you. Did did Jesus speak Aramaic according to the Quran? Was Jesus speaking Aramaic? Or English? I'm asking you what he speak. I'm asking you. I want to learn from you. I want. I want to know from you. Jesus speak what language? Uh, ultimate. <laughs> what language he speak? Uh, Aramaic. Okay, guys, did he say Aramaic? Did he say Aramaic? Here we go. You are a donkey, certified donkey, because the Quran says that Allah He sent to to Jesus a book. It's called Injil, and the word Injil is a Greek. So how Jesus speak Aramaic, but yet his book in a Greek? Is your God Allah stupid donkey? Is Greek? Yes. Indian is Greek. Yes, it's a Greek. <laughs> That's enough for today. Anyone can go and search in two second your donkey, and you will see that this is a Greek word. You see how we get you busted, your donkey. Even your tafsir, your donkey, agree that this is a Greek word. You are a certified donkey like your prophet. Anyone can go right now, search what the word Injil mean, and everybody will see in a second. Uh, we have another Muslim. Hello? Yeah. Hello? Yes. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Hello? Yes, I hear you. Go ahead. You're live on air. Yeah. Did you did you hear your brother? Yeah, I... Did you hear your brother answer, please? Did you hear him? He said that Jesus yeah, I... he speak he, he said he said he said he said Jesus he speak Aramaic. Do you Can agree? I ask to you? Huh? Can I ask you? No problem. I'm, I'm, I'm just uh, continue the conversation with you. He said that Jesus, he speak Aramaic. Do you agree with him? For me, by the way, I agree. Jesus speak Aramaic. But do you agree yourself that Jesus speak Aramaic? Hello? No. No? Okay. So how? Uh, so why the Quran saying the word Injil, which is a Greek word? Why Jesus was given a Greek book if he is not a Greek? And why he is saying Aramaic if his people are not the Aramaic? Isn't it the Quran says that we never send a messenger except to speak the tongue of his people? Never Allah he sent a messenger except he I'm speak. Speaking English. Huh? Sorry? The Quran said that we never send a messenger except to teach in his own language. This guy, ultimate fort, he just admitted with his own stupidity that Muslims, they lie about Jesus. They know nothing about Jesus. He learned from Google that Jesus, he speak Aramaic, which is true. But he did not notice this donkey who was laughing like a donkey that he just got busted and bust his prophet. Because Allah never sent a messenger unless 
he speak the tongue of his people so if the if jesus was speaking aramaic and his bible is in aramaic then jesus was a prophet not to the jews he was a prophet for the aramaic how we confirm that the quran in front of us chapter 14 verse number four can i ask to you so you don't want to answer what this guy is saying no problem go ahead what do you want to say is there anything in the bible about christmas about christmas if there's anything in the Quran about yes. the, about the birth of Muhammad? What? what? If there's anything in the Quran about the birth of Muhammad? The what? If there's anything in the Quran about the birth of Muhammad? Sorry, I'm not too good in English. No, you are good in English. Don't play dumb now. So you are saying to me, why you celebrate a Christ, a Christ, a Christmas? I, Christmas supposedly, okay, I'm asking you. So why you Muslims celebrate the birth of Muhammad if the information in the Quran? I'm using Google Translate now. What translate? What translate? You understand very well. Don't play the dumb now. So why you are celebrating the birth of Muhammad if it is not mentioned in the Quran? Uh, what? What? Sorry. What do you mean what? Why you celebrate the birth of Muhammad? Happy birthday, Muhammad! Happy birthday, Muhammad! Happy birthday with Aisha! Happy... Okay, so why you celebrate birthday of Muhammad if it's not mentioned in the Quran? We have a Maulid, like a Salawat. Exactly, so you just said, is the Christmas mentioned in the, in the Bible? Then I'm saying to you, is the Maulid is mentioned in the Quran? The answer, no. So why you celebrate it? Uh, because uh -huh. Allah is uh -huh. uh, what the English with it. Hmm. Instruct us to hmm. uh, give salawat to Prophet Muhammad. Okay, uh, uh, the Quran says pray on Muhammad. Why you want to pray on Muhammad? Pray to Muhammad. Uh, we pray to Allah. Okay, but you pray, pray to you, Allah. You pray to Allah, but you pray on Muhammad, right? You pray on Muhammad, correct? Pray on Muhammad? No, we pray to Allah. You pray to Allah, but you say Sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima. Pray on Muhammad. When you say Sallu alayhi wa sallimu alayhi, mean? Salawat kepada sorry sorry i'm speaking okay yeah so how what what it means salli salli ala muhammad what does that mean it's not been like we uh like praying to muhammad it's like we're praying to allah okay but it's like uh not wait i'm not too good in english hmm. Pray to Allah to do what? It is not mean uh, to pray to Muhammad. It's I know, like I know, I got, I got that, my friend. I am not saying you are praying to Muhammad. I'm saying you pray to Allah to do what? what? You pray to Allah to do what? To do what to Muhammad? It says, Inna Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi Allah and his angels are praying on the Prophet. How Allah and the angels are praying on the Prophet? Explain to me, I'm listening. You, 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 you pray to Allah and what? It says Allah, not only you, Allah himself and the angels are praying on Muhammad. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So what does that mean? It's not like it's not like Allah is praying. Hmm. It's not like Allah is praying. So what he is doing? It's like his gift is hmm. his gift is uh, rahmat. It's oh. not like because it's impossible as a god. Ah, but you so what, so why the word in Arabic here says you salun? Did Allah choose the wrong word? Is the Quran is a bad Arabic? Allah in the Arabic it says you salun. You salli is a word mean he he pray. As simple as that. In Arabic, no, 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 no. In, in in Arabic, the or word Allah. in in Arabic, the word blessing means you barak, you barak, huh? So there is no need to say in, you salli when it is you barak. Which one of them? You salli mean he pray? No, 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 it's like it's like you. Uh, wait, wait. Hmm. <clears throat> so. 
So it's like Allah is not mean is to uh, pray to Muhammad. It's not like it is like his gift is rahmat to Muhammad and the okay. angel. Okay, okay, my friend, my friend. Okay, I, I will go with you. I will go with you. So Allah is giving rahmat to Muhammad. Okay, so why the angels they are doing the same? Who is the one who give mercy? Reward Rahma mean mercy. No. Here the word is usually, but I will go with you. Allah He gave mercy to Muhammad. Do Muhammad get no. mercy from the angels? On, different on, different on, means. It's different means. Different means. Allah gift Allah salu salu alayhi Muhammad is like it's gift is Rahmat and Malaikat salu alayhi Muhammad is like to pray and same as men, same as men. Okay, so Allah He sent mercy. I'm going with you. Allah He sent His mercy to Muhammad. Correct. Yes. Okay, the angels they send their mercy to Muhammad, correct? No. But the verse says, and the angels too. What do you mean now? I say it's a different. What different? It's different. What different? What the angels do? It's different. Allah. Okay. Salu ali Muhammad. Okay. It's like to give his mercy okay. to Muhammad, but it's different. Angel, angel is give, is angel is pray to Allah. No, the verse, uh, the, the verse in the front of yes. me, it says Allah, this is your translation, this is your Muslim translation, Allah and his angels sending a blessing on the Prophet, read it, this is your false translation. So Allah and the angels, both of them, they do the same thing, they send a blessing according to the translation. No, 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 you so, must do... Okay, uh, what a translation, what translation you accept, you speak Indonesian, right? Don't you speak Indonesian? I'm going to open the Indonesian translation and you tell me what it says there in Indonesian. To understand the Arabic language, you must to understand. You must to understand. Uh, well, here uh, what, the Arabic language. Okay, the Arabic here we go. Like, I, I, I am an Arab and this is my language. Like it says, uh, Abdul, listen. Uh, this, like, uh, don't tell me to understand the Arabic language when you don't know Arabic. I am an Arab. In Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabiya ayyuha ladina amanu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima. Allah and his angels are praying on the Prophet and who, oh, who you believe pray on him and salute him okay so the translation done by Muslims here we go it says Allah and his angels are sending a blessing how Allah and the angels they do the same act if Allah he sent a blessing how angels send a blessing too I'm explaining to you what it's like not it's different it's how, different how it's different explain to me here we go I'm listening it's different Okay, Allah is salu alay Muhammad is mm. like to give his mercy. Okay, it's uh, not to okay. pray. To so him. Allah He gave his mercy. Okay. The, the angels doing what? What the angels do after that? Allah after Allah He gave his mercy. What is next? What the angels do? Angels is pray to Muhammad. The angels they pray to Allah to send mercy, but Allah already sent mercy. I say this is different. Okay, I understand it's different. But Allah already sent His mercy. Okay, Why the angels need to pray to Allah to send His mercy? The angels are praying to Allah to do what? If you understand, mm. if you understand, mm. I say, Muhammad, I said, Allah, mm. Sallu Ali Muhammad, is like to give His mercy. Not okay. like to pray. Okay, no like problem. Okay. Angel and man. That's wonderful. So Allah, He sent His mercy already. So why the angels need to pray to Allah to send His mercy? Did Allah send his mercy already to Muhammad? It says Allah he did. If I am going with you, if the word there you saloon does not mean a pray, but it's false, it means a pray. But I will go with the lies. If Allah already he sent his mercy, he sent his blessing, okay. Why do we need the angels to ask Allah to send the blessing? But Allah he sent the blessing already. Wait, wait. Hmm. Mercy from Allah is infinite. No problem. As long as it's infinite, why we need more mercy? If Allah He sent His mercy, that's it. You got the mercy. You do not need somebody to pray to send more mercy. So when Allah He sent His mercy to Muhammad, that's it. Muhammad, He got the mercy of Allah. Why the angels and you and all the Muslims are required to pray to Allah according to you so Allah will send His mercy when Allah already sent His mercy? What, what? What do you mean what, what, what? If you call me, let's say I am a taxi driver, I have a, a taxi uh, uh, office. You call me, you say, send me a taxi. Okay, a taxi in the way. Why you ask the angels and everybody to call me to send a taxi? I did send a taxi. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, 
understand, I understand. Mm. So, so this is mm. like this. Mm. Allah give give his mercy to Muhammad uh -huh. and to pray to Allah for uh, uh, pray to Allah for give uh, mercy to Muhammad. It's true. But but Muhammad he got the mercy already. If Allah he gave mercy to Muhammad already, why you really need to pray to Allah to send his mercy to Muhammad? If Allah he sent his mercy already. Are this wrong? Listen, if you are, let us say, we pray to God to send us rain. Rain, rain, huh? Okay. God he sent rain. Why God is asking the angels to ask him to send rain? He sent rain already. We have rain. So if Allah he no. sent if Allah he sent his mercy to Muhammad already, then what is the point that the angels and the believers and every human being in this earth he is going to pray to Allah according to you and ask Allah to send mercy if Allah already he mercy Muhammad. I this wrong. I ask you, is that wrong? This is stupid because. If Allah already, let us say, Allah, He forgive your sin. Why you need to ask Allah to forgive your sin? If He forgive your sin already, this is stupid. Let us say, you go to my house. You say to me, can I borrow your car? I say, okay, take my car. Why you want to send all your family after you took my car? Your car, my car already with you. Why you want to send me your brother, your sister, your dad, your neighbor to ask me to give you the car? If you have the car, I gave you the car. So if Allah gave the car, if Allah gave the car to Muhammad, why the angel need to speak to Allah, ask him, please, Allah, give Muhammad the car. And then you, you call Allah, Allah, can you please give Muhammad the car? But Allah will say to you, I gave him the car. Angel not have less. What? It's always pray to Allah. No problem. This is the point. Exactly, exactly. If the angels, they are praying to Allah. Okay, listen, listen. I don't know. Okay, listen, I'm losing my patience with those people. First, ultimate fault, then ultimate stupid. I mean, how many times I need to repeat myself? It is one elephant or many elephants? The topic now became, it's one elephant or not? You, you, you did lie, it's not elephants, it's one elephant. <laughs> <coughs> yes, my friend. I'm, I don't want to repeat myself. Okay, okay, it's my phone. Hmm. So what? What you will do? So Allah, He sent His mercy. Okay. Why the angels? They need to ask Allah to send His mercy, and why you need to pray to Allah to send His mercy if Allah already sent His mercy? Wait, wait, wait. We Allah is ever say in Quran is uh, for always to pray to me and I will give you hmm. pray to me and I will give you. Okay. And this is war. Okay. It's war. Okay. Are that war? But Allah already He gave Muhammad. You said Allah He sent His mercy. Okay. So Allah He gave Muhammad His mercy. I correct. Said, I said. I said rahmat is infinite. Okay. So infinite. What is that? What infinite mean? So you can pray to Allah and give rahmat, rahmat, rahmat. Mm. It's okay. It's not wrong. Mm. What's the wrong? My friend, you, are you are you are you are you listening or not? I'm not asking you this is wrong or not. But Muhammad already he received the rahmat. It's not rahmat. It, it is rahmat. So you say it's stupid. It's stupid because already Muhammad he received the mercy of Allah. So why you need to ask Allah to send mercy to Muhammad if Muhammad already received mercy from Allah? I say rahmat is infinite. So you can pray to Allah. I can pray to Allah. Forgive someone. Okay. Forgive someone. Okay, but uh, is, is, okay. Okay. Let me ask you. you. Uh, okay. Look, no. Oh no. It says in the verse that yes, Allah and the angels they are according to you. According to you, Allah and the angels and the human being they are sending their mercy to Muhammad. Muhammad received mercy from Allah. You, when you ask Allah to send more mercy, is that going to be like more truck of mercy? How, how is that like a, a, by kilograms? What mercy mean? When you say when God He sent His mercy to someone, what does that mean? Mercy in Quran Rahmat is like uh, hmm. Rido, uh, like uh, Rido. What give His Rido? What is Indonesian? 
What? If like uh, like you uh, gives uh, more like in in life, hmm. like someone gives you bread, hmm. and hmm. you ask to him, uh, give me more bread, hmm. like this rahmat. Hmm. Okay, let me ask you. Uh, do you, if you're a prophet, he asks Allah mercy for someone he is the Muslim. Is that a good thing? Do Muhammad is he allowed to do to ask Allah for mercy for someone not a Muslim? What what? What what? Can Muhammad ask Allah for a blessing for someone is not a Muslim? Can Muhammad? Can Muhammad ask, ask Allah. Allah to send his mercy to someone is not a Muslim? Someone maybe. He's a Christian or he's a Hindu or he's an atheist. Can Muhammad do that? No. Okay. The Rahmat is from Allah. Okay. I'm not asking you if Muhammad he is sending his mercy, man. I'm asking you, can Muhammad pray to Allah so Allah will send his mercy to someone is not a Muslim? Yes, it can. It can. He can. So why the Quran says that Muhammad he commits sin when he did that? Chapter yeah. 9, verse 113. So look with me here. Muhammad, he claimed to be a prophet of Allah. Muhammad, he asked the Muslims to ask Allah to send his prayer on him and the angels and them themselves, they have to pray. And Muhammad, supposedly, he will receive more and more and more prayer from Allah. But Muhammad himself yes. is a sinner. Muhammad is a bad person. Here we go. He's breaking the order of Allah. Chapter 9, verse 113 saying, It is not for a prophet to ask for forgiveness for those who they are not Muslims. So Muhammad he is not a good person. He commits shirk and he committed many crimes against Allah doing a wrong teaching. Because when you say, May Allah forgive my mother and she is a pagan. Muhammad is a pagan breaking the command of Allah. Okay. Now Allah, he sent his mercy Surah to Muhammad. Surat what? Surat what? Chapter 9, verse number 113. Mm. Chapter 9, 113. Mm. Mm. <laughs> okay, how you know how you are reading Arabic if you do not know Arabic? Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. How you are reading Arabic if you do not know Arabic? You are reading in letters, which is no, equal, right? They are teaching you this, is how they teach you. Yes. So, so, you are faking Arabic now. You yes. don't know Arabic. Do you know Arabic? Yes, I know Arabic. You know, you know Arabic? Little bit. Little bit. But you are reading Arabic, so how you know a little bit, but you are reading the verse in Arabic? What? How you are reading the verse in Arabic, but you do not know Arabic? Please, uh, say slowly. Okay, how you are reading, you just did read the verse for me in Arabic, even there's many error, but no problem. You did read the verse for me in Arabic, but you do not know Arabic, how this happened? Is that a miracle? Did Muhammad touch you now? No. What happened? Okay, so how you explain to me how you how you are reading for me the verse in Arabic if you do not know Arabic? No. What do you mean now? How you are reading for me the verse in Arabic, but you do not know Arabic? I'm little bit. This what? like a uh, translate. But you are, but you did read for me in Arabic. So look what you happened. They gave them books, make make pronunciation of Arabic so they can read and they sound like they are people who know Arabic. Okay. Now, why you did read for me in Arabic if you don't understand what you are reading? So actually, yeah? I'm wrong in chapter nine. I know, but why you are reading it to me sound like Arabic? Are you trying to convince me that you know Arabic but you do not know? Why you did read for me the verse in a language which is not yours and you don't understand it? What the point of this? What you did? So now, you know, uh, for, forget, yes. about, for, forget about this. So why your prophet asking for forgiveness if this is sin for the pagans? Okay, I don't know. No, I let I'm, 
I ask to you. Mm. Can, can? Okay. Can I ask to you? Okay, ask to me, ask to me. Okay. Where is the, in the Bible, mm. it say about Christmas? I just answer you. Where in the Quran it says you do Mawlid? You said nowhere. So why the yeah. Christian, why the Christian yeah. cannot do Christmas, but you Muslim can do Mawlid, even it's not in the Quran? Did your prophet That's even October. did even your prophet say to you you can celebrate my birthday? What? Did your prophet say to you you can celebrate my birthday? No, no, no. In the Quran, it says mm -hmm. his people is uh, salawat to Muhammad. So what? It's in Mawlid, is we salawat to Muhammad? No, the Mawlid, the Mawlid you do is his birthday. This is that the salah you do every time, every day you do in Muhammad. This is not his birthday. Don't lie. The Mawlid is something, and pray on Muhammad is something else. The Mawlid is something you do for the birthday of Muhammad. Did your prophet ask yes. you, and he order you to celebrate the birthday of Muhammad? No. Okay, so why you celebrate no, the birthday of Muhammad? From Allah. Allah instruct us. Allah is our God. Allah told you what? Told you, told you to celebrate to celebrate the Christmas of Muhammad? In, no. So why you? So in why? October. Why you are do, Why you are doing? October. Okay. Why you are doing Mawlid if it's not in the Quran, not in the Hadith? Where do you get the Mawlid from? The Quran says Allah says hmm. people to salawat to Muhammad in Mawlid to salawat no, to Muhammad. Bob, no, Muhammad. the Mawlid is to remember his birthday. So in his birthday you pray on Muhammad, no problem. But why you are doing his birthday if Muhammad never says so? You know the story. You know the story. Muhammad ever says uh, in hadith. In hadith. What? What sto uh, story about I'm, what? Story about what? I am fasting. Hmm. Uh, in. Wait, wait. In Monday, I'm fasting in Monday for uh, for for reminisce about my birthday. You are you are you fasting know? in Monday for your birthday. Yes, there is uh, like a sunnah sunnah fasting. Uh, in Monday and Thursday. Where you get this from? What? Where you get this from? You can take the hadith. No I problem. Forget but where in the where in the hadith you are you are you are doing that because it's a birthday? What? You are doing you are you are fasting in Monday and in Thursday. Is that because of a birthday? No. Why? So why? So why? Why? No problem. I'm asking you why you are changing. Why you are changing? And by the way, this is stupid. Do you know why? Because according to your prophet, Allah, He put all your deeds in the front of Him in Monday. Why your 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 God? He take off in Sunday's vacation and He go back to work in Monday. What your prophet mean that Allah He will review all your deeds in Monday? What does that mean? Allah will review, Allah will, will, will take all your uh, uh, prayer, He will review all your prayer in Monday. What does that mean? How that, how that can be true? So you pray to Allah what five times, five, you, you pray only. You are the one who mentioned to me, you, you fast in Monday. Do you know why you fast in Monday? Yes. Why? You fast in Monday. Why? Why? Sunnah. Why? Sunnah. Okay. What Sunnah, sunnah. mean? Okay. Sunnah. Sunnah. I got it. Sunnah mean that Muhammad did that. But why Muhammad did that? Muhammad is ever says in hadith. Hmm. You can check the hadith. I'm forget it. Hmm. He say I'm fast in Monday because hmm. for hmm. not because of his birthday. About my but, my birth. No, where it says my where, where it says his birth. Here we go. It says it says that Allah Allah He presented the deeds of people presented to Allah on Monday and in Thursday. This is why. 
Wait, wait, let me mm. search. Mm. But I have it in the screen, you can read it. I have all the hate in front of you on the screen. What, what? What, what? What, what? And, you know, so if your prophet was born in Monday, why you Muslims celebrate his birth every time, every year, in different day? Because it's, uh, because Allah instructs us to salawat to Prophet Muhammad. Okay, Allah, he told you to, to pray on Muhammad, but Muhammad is dead. Are you, is, is, is Muhammad worried he will go to hell? Why you need to pray on Muhammad? Muhammad is go to hell. So, what, so why he need your prayer? What you would do to him? When you do ask Allah to send mercy to Muhammad, what do you do to Muhammad? What Muhammad will get from this? Wait, wait. Allah guarantee all prophets hmm. to admit. At least this guy he don't shout make me lose my voice like the other idiot. Allah guarantee all his prophet to enter heaven. Okay, so if Allah guarantee Muhammad he will be in heaven. Why you are asking Allah to forgive Muhammad to send a blessing on Muhammad if Muhammad already will go to heaven? Are we are we are we pray to are, are we pray to Allah hmm. to uh, what to do what uh, pray to Allah for Muhammad okay but Muhammad he will Muhammad go to heaven but, never, but you just but you just said but you just said Muhammad he will go but you just said uh, Muhammad like, okay Muhammad will go to heaven for sure or no yes okay so why you are praying to Allah to do what to Muhammad Muhammad already is going to go to heaven so what your prayer will do to Muhammad we pray to Allah, hmm. to Muhammad, is forgive him. Okay, but Rahman. okay, but you just said, but you just said Allah, He grant him to go to heaven, so He forgive him. We we pray to Allah to like salawat is like in maulid hmm. for in the akhirat, hmm. like uh, in akhirat hmm. we can uh, and Prophet Muhammad hmm. give us shafaat. You know shafaat. Hmm. Shafa'at, yeah. So, yes. so uh, 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 Muhammad, he would do shafa'a for you. Yes, if we salawat. But but you are the one who is doing shafa'a for remember, him. Like, look look, look at this. Look at, look 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 at this crazy cult, guys. But you are the one who is asking Allah to forgive Muhammad. You just said that. So how Muhammad can help you if Muhammad himself need forgiveness? You just said we pray to Allah to forgive Muhammad. So how the one who himself need forgiveness, he can help you to forgive, to be forgiven. Forgiveness. If I would it, say forgiveness. You said that. Say no, you said no. You said that. You said that. Everybody heard you. Oh, I said that. Okay. Oh, say, oh I said that. Okay. Listen. Uh, as long you see, you did not say that. It's recorded. But anyway, let us see here something. Did Allah? He says to Muhammad, maybe, okay. maybe he will forgive him. Did Allah say to Muhammad that maybe he will forgive his sin? If, if, what? Did Allah say to Muhammad maybe he will forgive his sin? His sin? Yeah. Did he say that to him? That maybe he will forgive his sin? Sorry. May Allah... May Allah forgive the sin of Muhammad, chapter 48, verse number 2. You said, you said that already Allah granted Muhammad to go to heaven, but the Quran says that Allah may forgive thee for the sin. No, no. It's chapter what? Chapter what? Chapter 48, verse number 2. Chapter Al-Fatih. Chapter 8. Chapter 48, 48, Al-Fatih. 48. Hmm. Verse number 2. Number 2. Hmm. It says Allah, maybe he will forgive to Muhammad. But you said... Oh, it's not say maybe. No, it says maybe. It says, لِيَغْفِرَ لَكَ Allah. It's a wish. No, it's not say maybe. Okay, read it. Here we go. Read it in front of you. It says that this is your Muslim translation that Allah may forgive thee for the sin. 
which in the past and which is to come which means Muhammad was bad boy in the past and he is a bad boy in the future wait, wait. and maybe he will perfect his favor upon you and maybe he will guide you maybe he will guide you if even guidance is not guaranteed maybe he will guide you read it They say so that Allah will forgive you. Not maybe. This not maybe. Huh? Okay. Well, here we go. You, 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 you are the one who claim that you know Arabic. It says in Arabic, Allah. It's something in the future. So let us wish that Allah will forgive you. Saying, Allah. Ma taqaddama min dhamika wa ma taakhar. Hmm? Did Allah forgive Amen. to Muhammad or not? Yes. Okay, hold on. As long you are saying yes, I will show you a hadith. It looked like Muhammad is a liar. Because Muhammad he said the opposite. <clears throat> In this, it's not maybe. Uh, hold on. Oh, this, there's not maybe. Let us see if this is true or not. Give me a second, please. As long as you claim that you know Arabic, it says here, Muhammad, he says, none of you, he will be saved by his deeds. They said to him, even you, prophet, he said, even I, unless Allah, he warped me with his mercy and grace. What? What, what? What, can you repeat? Hmm. It's in front of you. It says, I show it to you in Arabic. I'm showing it to you in English now. The Messenger of Allah said, For the right path, the faith of his stri uh, uh, st uh, strictly, and be steadfast, and keep in mind that none of you can achieve salvation through his good actions. Someone asked, Not even you, O Messenger of Allah. He said, Not even me, unless Allah grant me his mercy and grace. Oh, it's in hadith. Yes, it's right. Mm, yeah. So, was Muhammad granted heaven or not? Wait, no, wait, wait. he was not. He's saying his deed, all the deed of Muhammad is is useless. All the deed of Muslims is useless. All the prayer you Muslim you make is useless. All the going to Hajj, kissing the black stone is useless, because it's in the front of you saying that all of those will not achieve salvation faith uh, follow the right path of faith strictly hmm. right yeah <clears throat> let me translate uh, and be steadfast, steadfast, and keep in mind that none of you can achieve salvation through mm. his actions. Mm. Okay. So, is salvation based on this story here is it granted for Muhammad? None of you can achieve salvation through. His action. Someone asked, not even you. Oh, message of what? He said, not even me, unless mm. Allah grants me his mercy and grace. Okay, so so Muhammad, he did not receive salvation yet. Muhammad, he's saying <laughs> that his deed were I nothing. Muhammad's deed will not, will not help him, even him. They said, even you, he said, even me. Unless Allah, he grant me his mercy. So maybe Allah will grant him mercy, maybe he will not. And this is what the verse is saying. Okay, so so what what the point of Islam? If the Prophet of Islam himself, he need you. If the Prophet of Islam, listen. If the Prophet of Islam, he need you to pray to Allah, so he will send his mercy to Muhammad. And the angels they pray to Allah, so he will send his mercy to Muhammad. And Muhammad himself, after all of this, hold on. And after all of this, Muhammad himself is saying all of this is useless. Not even me. Prophet Muhammad is acknowledged. Mm. Is this a servant of God? 
So he's done now. So, but you, uh, but what, you, but uh, you told what, me, what but, God think. but, but you told me that he is a granted heaven. How he is a granted heaven? But here it says no. Unless. It's an. It is. It is. This, it, it is maybe. This prophet Muhammad says. This prophet Muhammad says. Not Allah says. Yes, is, is Muhammad. Is, says, isn't it the Quran says Allah Muhammad? Says. He don't speak. Doesn't isn't it the Quran says Muhammad does not speak of his own desire. Everything is from Allah. So when Muhammad he said this teaching, are you saying he's lying? No, she's not lying. Okay, not but this wrong. is a, but this is a Muhammad teaching about Muhammad. Allah. No problem. But this is a teaching about Allah. Is that a true teaching or false teaching? Is he giving false teaching or true teaching? True teaching. Okay, true teaching. Okay, the true teaching says that not even me. So even him, Muhammad doing Hajj, Muhammad doing Jihad, Muhammad killing people, Muhammad raping women, all those things he did for Allah supposedly, that will not count. It's only if Is Allah, if, if Allah, Allah, unless Allah, he grant me his mercy. The same as all of you. Listen, brother, brother, hmm? do you listen to me? What? You listen to me? You listen to me? I'm listening, yeah. Yes, okay. This is not, it's not like, it is Prophet Muhammad. Hmm. It's not, uh, not, he's not lying. Okay. He's, uh, don't know, because Allah is answer, answer all his prophet hmm. to enter the heaven. Hmm. Where, where it says that, oh, oh, where, where in the Quran it says all the prophet will go to heaven? I forget the wait wait let me search. Hmm. <clears throat> Is it one elephant or many elephant? <laughs> Yes. Hmm. Okay, so. Atiba ma han abi atiba ma jannati yow yow malkiya mati fastaf fastaftihu fastaftihu fayakulul fayakulul khazi fayakul khazino man an man an ta fa fakulu maham fakulu muhammadi fakulu muhammadun fayakulu bika am amir tun la. What are you reading now? What is that? This is supposed to be Arabic. What are you reading? It's uh, Muslims. Hadith Muslim. Okay, but so in the Quran, nowhere it says Muhammad. No, Muhammad. You know, actually, the Quran says that every single one of you will go to hell. No, no. No, this no. Is, no, no. Okay. This is hadith no. Okay, hold on. Hadith okay, hadith okay, hadith okay. Well, isn't it? But isn't it the Quran says not even one, but of you, but he will enter hell. Chapter nineteen, verse number 17, 71. Chapter nineteen, verse number seventy-one. Not even one, but he will enter it. Wa Chapter nineteen, number seventy-one. Yeah. Nineteen. Yeah, the Muslim translation we see like says pass over it, but the fact it doesn't say pass over it, it says we'll enter it. 71. Hmm. Do you think Muhammad he did lie in this verse okay. on the Quran? You can read, you can read before. Thumma uh, lana. ثم لنحن أمل أمل بيل الذين هم أولى بها سليب سلي. What is that? <laughs> Doesn't matter. It says not even single one of you, but he will enter into hell. This is Tafsir Jalalain. Look in the screen. I will show it to you. This is your scholar. Tafsir Jalalain says there is not one of you, but shall come to it and shall enter hell. Wait, wait. I'm not too good in English, sorry. No problem, but this is the Sirajal and you can search it. 
So do you do you study Quran in a, in Islamic school, my friend? Why you don't let your sheikh to call me? Do you have a sheikh? He teach you? Why you don't ask him to call me? Yeah. Hmm. Are you a sheikh you yourself? Can see in the are you sheikh? You are you are you are you a sheikh yourself? No, no. You can you can see in previous verse. What it says? No problem. But this verse says not even one of you, but he will enter hell. All of you. It's not mean. It's not mean in uh, chapter chapter nineteen. Uh, yeah. Paragraph seventy one. It's not like it's uh, Prophet Muhammad is saying. He says to uh, Muslims, "Is now, uh, is now Allah, but Allah is now who can uh, enter the hell." You can hmm. see the previous verse. No problem, but this verse comes from that not no exception, not even single one. All of you will go to hell. Who cares about the previous verse? The, this verse confirmed that there's no exception. All of you will go to hell. Previous verse explaining. No problem. The previous verse is in the next verse. Okay, but the verse before it says the ver, the verse before it saying that there is some of this, there is some some they are worth burning. So there is people who will stay in hell forever. But this verse confirms that every single human being is going to enter hell. And then Allah will save from those human beings some. Read the verse after it, verse number 72. So all of them, every, all Muslims will go to hell. Then Allah will take some of those who he like and he get them out of hell. So he, Allah will do, he will do some barbecue for you for maybe like a thousand years. This is what the Quran is saying. Okay, hmm. this is the previous verse. Then we know more about people who sold put into the hell. Hmm. Okay, you read it? What about so? Okay, so. and the next verse it says, and and then, and then the and then the next. Next verse that says, Wait, I'm translating. Hmm. Let me make it simple for you. Do the Muslims yes. will go to hell? Okay, okay in, the, in the judgment day. All the Muslims will go to hell or they will go to heaven directly? No, not Muslim is going to heaven. Okay, so. There who, is someone Muslim. Okay, so who, who, is, to, who is going to go yeah. to heaven? How, how many how many Muslims will go to heaven without punished? I don't know. Will your prophet, I don't know. Your prophet say 70,000? Your prophet says 70,000. Is he lying? 70,000? Yeah. Where is? In the hadith. It says 70,000. What kind of a what? prophet he say that? Why? How 70,000? 70, 70,000 will go without any penalty, which means the rest, they will stay in hell. That's what I'm saying to you. They will go to hell and Allah will what do barbecue hadith? for them. What hadith 70,000? Huh? What had is 70,000? There's some 70,000 Muslim going to hell. Well, here we go. This is the, uh, the hadith says. Uh, what? what? Muhammad, what he hadith? said. 
Okay, let, let me find you the hadith. Hold on, let's see if we can find it. Okay, here we go. This is the hadith in front of you. It says, Those are your people, and among them there will be 70,000 who shall enter Jannah without being taken account of torment. Do you see it? There was one, one until he passed by a large multitude. Brought as we see. Hmm. Where's the 70,000? It says that in the front of you. Let me highlight for you. Here we go. Those, these are your this people. Is these are your people. These are your people. What hadith? Yes, what hadith? Well, this is a hadith exists in many places. Which reference you like me to show you? This is Sahih Muslim. And this is hadith number is narration, Hadith number is, uh, two, 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 uh, this is hadith. two two zero. Sahih, this is Sahih Muslim. Seventy seventy thousand will go from your uh, go to to heaven. But what uh, what narrate this hadith? Who? Who? I will search in Google. Hmm. What do you mean who? It who is Sahih narrated hadith. Narrated this. Oh. This hadith. Who narrated this hadith? Uh, read the read the yes. search for the hadith number. You will find the whole hadith. I don't care who narrated. This is accepted by Muslims, and it is reported as Sahih. So what we will do now? Seventy thousand only. They will go to heaven without being punished. The rest will go. Allah will do barbecue for them, and Allah will insert in their anus. A chain, correct? Sahih Muslim hadith uh, 220, right? Yes. Uh, we can okay. find you. Okay. We can find you even from Sahih Bukhari if you want. Hey, this, this is Sahih Bukhari. Hadith number 5752. Sahih Bukhari or Sahih Muslim? Sahih Bukhari and Sahih Muslim. Sahih Bukhari 5752. Oh, yeah. Hmm. 70,000 people. So only 70,000 Muslims, Allah will not enter a chain into their anus. The rest, Allah will enter a chain into their anus. Right. <clears throat> Hello, Christian Prince. I'm here, my friend. I'm listening. Okay, I'm sorry. I must to offer it because I must to pray now. Oh, you must pray. If you if you are late, what will happen? You think Allah will not uh, uh, will not accept if you oh, are late? Better. No, huh? it's better. No, it's better. Oh, okay. Because yeah, to go. he must go now. I'm sorry. Time. I will call you. No problem. You can call. I will, you can call me later. I will, yeah, I, I will. will. Okay, no problem. Take care. Take no, care. No, pro no problem. No problem. No. Just go, man. Just go. Let us go back to the story of uh, Ultimate Four. You see, when the Muslims, they have nothing to say, they try to make an excuse. Is it only one elephant or an army of elephants? The fact that doesn't make any difference. And the fact is, the Quran used the same word, Ashab. The company of the elephant. If the word there is one elephant, doesn't mean that it is an elephant, the one who accompany elephant. So this is an army. What? Uh, the whole army have only one elephant? Or what is what this point of this elephant? What, what one elephant can do? Elephant, they use an elephant in an army so he can destroy in his way. He break the front line. The one elephant cannot do anything, would not do much. And actually this would be funny because uh, one elephant can be killed, easy. So, still, the story is stupid. One elephant or many thousand elephant, that will not make any difference. Because how an elephant can survive the desert? No Muslim can answer. Elephant, he need at least 600 liter of water to drink. And he need way more water to fresh his body to keep himself cool. 
and why Allah he sent elephant to protect the Kaaba when the Kaaba was under the control of the pagan as Muslim they claim they are not they are not pagan but Allah did not send the the, the, the bird to protect his Kaaba when the Muslims was only in the Kaaba there was nobody but Muslims in Mecca al Kromuti he came and the Kaaba was destroyed many times we can go right now search how many the Kaaba was destroyed and burned not only destroyed you can even find many videos in YouTube made by Muslim cleric explaining how the Kaaba was destroyed and no bird appeared so obviously this is a stupid lie this is a very stupid lie and look what it says striking them with the stones of backed clay who is the one who backed the clay Allah what what this is a back clay mean this is part of the legions before Islam where everybody claimed that his Kaaba is, is protected by God. But nobody saw it, nobody witnessed it. Did Muhammad witness this thing? Nobody witnessed There's no witness. There's, there's not a single proof of this story. And this is why you see in the Quran, the Arab keeps saying to Muhammad, this is the fabulous, this is the fairy tales of the ancient. Asatir. So the potato who called us trying to play games is it one elephant or many elephant the Quran says we send our spirit is it one spirit or many spirit if Jibreel is a spirit then the Quran is a stupid because according to the Quran angels are not spirit Chapter 78, verse number 38, it says that in the judgment day, the spirit and the angels will stand forth in ranks. So if the spirit is an angel, then that this is stupid to say because the angels, the angel and the angels. Do you see it? So when those idiots they claim okay they say why you are not why you are saying angel if the verse doesn't say angel you are the one who said angel not me i never said this is an angel it's you i ask you the spirit is who you said jibreel okay so the verse in the front of us chapter 78 verse number 38 the day that the spirit and the angels will stand forth in ranks if the angel is a spirit then this verse is a stupid Very simple, very easy. <clears throat> Secondly, how Jibreel became a Ruhul Qudus. Al Qudus means holy. The angels to bow down to Adam. If they are holy, they will not be ordered to bow down to a man who commits sin. That is stupid. So, how the spirit which is the Holy Spirit according to the Quran, copying from the Bible became an angel. Yeah. Welcome to Jehovah's Witnesses cult. Obviously, Muhammad was following Nasara, which is a Christian cult, and he copied from them that. Those are Nasara teaching. This is a cult. Holy Spirit is Jibreel. This is what Jehovah's Witnesses teach. Go on, check them. Some, they say, this is uh, uh, Angel Michael. The same, but the angels in this land they are not holy. Allah accused them to be liars, and He because He got them busted, supposedly that they are lying. Allah He ordered them to bow down to Adam. Does it say that if only he is speaking about his Quran? This is how faithy they are. 
and he taught Adam all the names to do what? To prove that the angels are wrong, which is a very stupid story, because the angels, they say to him, are you going to place their in, the one who will make mischief and their in shed the blood? Why we glorify you and praise you? So they are questioning the stupidity of Allah. They are saying to him, this is stupid. Is that a sin or not? Is that a sin to question Allah's decision? I challenge the Muslim to say, can we question Allah's decision? Is that a sin or not? Any Muslim have little decency will say, yes, it's a sin. You cannot do that. Any Muslim who have decency. Any Muslim would like to call me? And I hope you will not scream like this idiot who, you know. And then I have to scream, and I have to scream. I repeat the same question. And the question is still valid. Who is a Muslim can tell us how an army of elephants can survive the desert? How one elephant can survive the desert? That will make you happy. There's no reverse in the way. The stupid, he said to me, do human beings survive? A human being, they can carry little water with them and they can survive with it, yes. And if they are out of water, they would die too. The need of a human being of water is way easier to carry, especially if they are using animals. But how you can provide an elephant with shade, because not only you have to give him water, you have to give him shade. The, the elephant will not survive in the sun of, uh, of, of the desert of Saudi Arabia. The heat there is extreme. Not only it's a desert, to the point they call it, that there's an area they call it the, core, the, the empty quarter. The empty quarter. It's empty. There's nothing but flying sand. An elephant even cannot walk in the sand because he will be, it's like going to be like a quicksand for him. He's very heavy. He cannot walk in it. So the whole story is stupid and there is no proof of it. Do we have any Muslim who would like to call us? Anyone? All, all of you, you are going to pray now. And the funny, this this uh, this idiot. You see, for me, I I, I when a, when a person is rude and dumb, I burn his paper and then I throw him in the garbage. And this is exactly what we do with this guy each time. What language Jesus he speak? He said Aramaic. Okay, wonderful. What is the word in Jeel? He said Aramaic. Okay, let us go with you just to show how stupid you are. If the word in Jeel is Aramaic and Jesus spoke Aramaic, that means Jesus was not sent to the Jews. Additional to that, the word in Jeel have nothing to do with Aramaic. And the funny when you show them their stupidity, they laugh loud to cover the shame. Ha 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 Christian people are laughing at you. Anyone can go right now, search in Google what the word in Jeel mean. You know what it is doing in front of you. Let me search. Hmm? Let us see. Yeah. 
Let us see how it is written in the Latin language. All right. I'm just trying to find out how they pronounce it in the Latin language. Here we go. They laugh at their stupidity. This is a Greek word. 100%. It is not an Aramaic. Gospel. And this idiot, ultimate fort, as he called himself, he was laughing. Loud. Ha 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 ha. Love. You just got your profit busted. No, I care for people love because that helps us. You see, the whole point is I open my Skype for Muslims to call so you guys you will see how stupid Islam is. Otherwise, I'm not here to waste my time shouting and screaming. I lost my voice screaming. We have a guy, his name is ABC. How are you doing, Mr. ABC? Do you like to call me, my friend? What do you think? Do you like to call and tell us how Muhammad, he says that the Allah he sent to Jesus in jail? Is that a mistake? We have a Muslim here is texting us. Okay. And he's holding ISIS flag too. Hello? Hello? Yes, my friend. Go ahead. What do you want to say to us? Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, wa alaikum as salam. Uh, yes, uh, my name is Afridi. Uh, 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 yes, uh, I'm a uh, Khan, tribe for Khan from Pakistan. From Pakistan. Okay, my friend. Yes. You, you said to me, Assalamu yes. alaikum. Are you allowed to say to Christians, Assalamu alaikum? Uh, brother, uh, we here live peacefully, Christian. This, and, this is uh, not a question. This is not a question. No, my friend, my friend. This is not a, this is another question. We're talking about Islam, not talking about you and me. We are talking about Islam. So, according to Islam, are you allowed to say to me, Assalamu alaikum? Yes, uh, we should say peace to everybody and but, to Christians and to everybody. No, that's not true. Your prophet said, "Don't, uh, don't uh, like uh, say salamu uh, alaikum to the Christian and the Jews, and if you see them in the street, force them to walk in the sewage." But brother, uh, we when we go to madrasa and when we go to. Uh, the we, we take teaching from the school. Mm. Uh, we uh, say always say that to uh, have to be be loved with all. Well, all Adam, people. I don't know who is teaching you that. This is a good teaching. I like it, but this is not Islam. Your prophet said. I say to you, your prophet said. You say to me, school said. This is your prophet. This is Sahih Muslim in the front of you. Says, don't agree Jews and Christians before they greet you. And if you meet one any of them. In the road, force them to the narrowest no no part of it. So your prophet said clearly that you should not salute the Christian. You should not agree with them. And if you meet them, you have you have to uh, to harm them. Are you reading from the Quran or from the Hadith? We are reading from the Hadith. You see, I'm showing in the screen. Okay. You can read with me. Uh, yes, I can see from the hmm. YouTube also. It hmm. says, Sahih Muslim." The and do not greet the Jew and the Christians before they greet you and when you meet any one of them. And okay. Mm -hmm. But uh, 
I, 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 that's why I'm like a like, little bit confused um, because I have many friends, Christians mm. and uh, Hindus mm. and we, we live peacefully and we, we eat together, we work together mm. and uh, they are nice to me, we are, we are nice to them. Mm. But many of the Muslim people, sometimes they are not good. And uh, okay, but this but is not teaching is, of, So, okay, uh, so you are saying, Muhammad. my friend. If they so, are doing good, they are doing bad. What, what, what's your name? What's, what, what's, what's your name, my friend? What I shall call I, you? I told you, Afridi. Uh, my, my caste is Afridi. I'm Batan. I'm Khan. Your, this is a big tribe. Like, uh, we are like, before Islam, uh, my tribe is before Islam. Okay, no problem. So, what what is your name? You say it and, and understand. I, I just told you, Shiraz Khan Afridi. Shiraz, Shiraz. Okay, Mr. Shiraz. Listen, so are you saying that the one who don't take a Christian as a friend, he is a bad person? Sorry? Are you saying the one who don't accept a Christian to be friends and he claim he's a Muslim? Are you saying he's a bad Muslim? He should be because uh, we have to... We have to give peace okay. and we have to give love. All right. But this is not the teaching of the Quran. The Quran in chapter 5, verse number 51 says, Take not Christians and Jews as friends. So are you saying now, you just said, that the Quran, Allah and Muhammad are evil, both of them, and they are teaching evil, and they are bad. I ask you, if somebody don't accept to take a Christian and Jews as a friends, is he a bad person? You said yes. I already heard you. And now, the Quran saying that the Quran says, "Take not Christians and Jews as a friends, for they are the enemy of Allah. You have to fight them. You have to kill them." So you now, by your help, we discover me and you together that Allah is a very bad Muslim if he is a Muslim, and Muhammad is a very disgusting person if he is a Muslim, because they are not obviously they are not true Muslim. The true Muslims is like you, the one who take Christians and Jews as a friends. But the Quran don't agree with you. So the Quran is an evil book. Cannot be your book. You are a good person. The Quran is a is a bad book, as you say. But brother, maybe this was a different text, different uh, meaning, isn't that? No, you can read any translation. You can read any interpretation, any tafsir. All of them they say the same. And your prophet he confirmed that. Don't salute the Christian and the Jews if you meet them. Force them to walk in the sewage. And here we go. The Quran says, "Oh people, you know." Uh, 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 the, uh, all Muslims don't take a Christian and Jews as a friends or protectors and the one who take them as a friend or protector is one of them he became a, he became a Christian if you take me as a friend according to the Quran you are a bad person you are not Muslim anymore um, I, I, I cannot say anything because I'm like you you saying what is written in the Quran which I definitely need to, which I definitely accept mm. and um, so how come you accept now? Look, you change your mind fast. A second ago you said you don't accept the person who refused to take a Christians and Jews and Hindus as a friends because this is a bad person. But look now, the second I said to you this is in the Quran, suddenly you accept blindly even though it is against what you just said to me three minutes ago. So how suddenly from good person you are who like to take me as a friend, suddenly you became evil and you believe that you should hate me, you should refuse to take me as a friend. How this happened so fast? For me, my understanding is that Quran and um, Muhammad's teaching, we need to follow and so now, but we also need to, like, we need to be with love, we need to provide love. And we my friend, where you are getting me those stories? Where it says in the Quran, you should love the Christians. Where in the Quran says you should not kill them? The Quran says you should kill them. You should kill them. Don't take them as a friends. What are you talking about? What, are you, what, what kind of religion you are you following? What is? Are you sure you are a Muslim? Are you a Muslim Sunni? I'm a Sunni Muslim. Okay. So where do you get this from? Where it says here we go. I'm showing you Quran chapter five verse number fifty one. Chapter nine verse twenty nine. It says kill them, kill them if they don't pay you. I understand, but I uh, I grew up in a big city, and I the, mm. I studied in a cathedral school. Mm. I belong to a good family, the rich family. So mm. uh, the, the the school that I uh, go to it's like Christian school. So so because you grow because you grow in a Christian school, you have a Christian value. You are a nice person, good person. 
but if you are following Islam, you will be a terrorist. But let me ask you: Is it is that that picture in your in your in your profile? Isn't it? This is ISIS picture. I just uh, wanted to hide my face, so that's why I put that picture. No, but you are you are holding the flag of ISIS in your hand. So what do you mean you hide? I see your face there. I just wanted to have a name uh, of. Uh, yeah, but why you are holding, if you are a person, you are a person who don't like to hate the Christian, to kill the Christian, to kill the Jews, why you are holding the flag of ISIS? Uh, I didn't know this is uh, belongs to ISIS. I just said that La ilaha illallah Muhammad. Ah, you do not know? Oh, okay, you do not know. Okay, no problem. Now, do you know about this verse I'm showing you before, or this is the first time? Um, I knew about that verse, but mm -hmm. I didn't... Uh, you know like i studied deeply like you mm. you are like a scholar but i i'm not like that person okay let me ask you if your father he isn't a muslim according to islam shall you be nice to your father uh, he's my father i need to be nice to him uh, but this is not the question according to islam are you allowed to be nice to your father or you should fight him and kill him According to Islam, I need to be nice to my father. According to Islam, you have to be nice to your father? No. You see, I'm not asking right. only about your father. I'm saying if your father is not a Muslim, let us say your father, he left Islam. Are you allowed to be good to your father who left Islam? If he do like this, that uh, uh, I will definitely... Uh, take him to my scholars this is not the question this is not the question he decided to be not a muslim he don't want to go to anywhere he is became a hindu according to islam are you allowed to be good to him after he became a hindu he don't want to be a muslim no more what is the answer what i have heard and uh, is about that uh, he must be killed all right so but you said a second ago you you have a hindu friends Anyone? Any, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, Mr. You are you 79. Anyone will use a bad language in the text, I will block you. This is a warning. Anyone in the chat? He call people names. If you want to debate people, debate them. If you want to argue with them, argue. But there is no need to use filthy language, otherwise I will block you, even if you claim to be a Christian. We are not straight people. All right. If somebody is a liar, say to him, you are a liar. There's no need for dirty words. Say to him, you are a liar. That's fine. But there is no need to use the F word like the Muslims who call me. Now, my friend, we go back to you. So according to Islam, he have to be killed. Are you going to kill your father if you leave Islam? No. But Islam says you should kill him. Islam said that you must tell him three times and okay. you have been like you have to tell him all the teaching okay you so told him the teaching three times and he don't want to be a Muslim no more he want to be a Hindu what you would do to him he is your father are you going to kill him no I will not kill him but, he's my father I will but, that, that I will definitely teach him the uh, okay the oh, no problem you see you are running away from the question if the guy he don't want to be back to Islam, what is the solution? You said he will be killed. So are you going to call your friend to call him to kill him? You will not kill him, but you will call your friends, right? I cannot do that because so, he's my father, and I cannot tell anybody to kill my father. Oh, so you are not going to be obedient to Allah? You will refuse the order of Allah? In in the past, uh, many prophets have done many mistakes, like Prophet David and many other prophets. This is not a question. This like, is Quran. The Quran saying to you that those who leave Islam, you kill them. Maybe the text was about like before, for, for, in for like fourteen years ago, or ago that that was a context was different. Now My friend, chapter fifty eight, verse number twenty two says, "You will not find one person from the Muslims who believe in Allah, he is going to be loving to those who resist Allah and His Messenger." So you cannot love your mother if she is not a Muslim. This is the Quran. 
So what do you mean text and uh, that's this is you will not find anyone. So it look like you have a very uh, uh, you have your own understanding of Islam or you 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 play like the the ostrich, the ostrich. It's a bird. When he see the danger coming, he put his head in the sand and he claim he he saw nothing. So I show you those verses, you claim you saw nothing. I show you that verse, you claim you saw nothing. The prophet says, kill the Christian, you claim that, okay, I have a Christian friends. Who care about if you have a Christian? This is not a question. Islam is an evil religion, obviously. Don't you agree? No, brother, I don't agree. It's okay. Not, it's not is, is, okay, let us, let us see. He don't agree. He don't agree. If you don't agree, then why you want to kill me just because I believe in Jesus as God? No, if we want to kill people like in you know, the Christian, and then why we, we, we just kill all Christians in Pakistan? Like, we are not the Will you kill all the, the Christians in, uh, if you can, you will. Okay, you, you know, we know it. You know, a woman, she ins you claim that she insulted the Quran. You want to burn her alive. Are you kidding me? In Pakistan, if a Christian, he say one word, you burn him alive. And you are saying to me, if we, we know we will kill them all, you will kill them all. How many Christian left? How many how many Christian? Okay, let me ask you. Let me ask you. Did your prophet kill all the Christian and the Jews in the Arabian Peninsula? Yes or no? No. Okay. All right. Let us see if this is true or not. Here we go. This is the hadith. It says that he either killed them or expelled them. This is his dream. Your prophet said that if he became victorious. I will expel the Jews and the Christian from the Arabian Peninsula and I will not leave any but Muslim. Do you see it? Yeah. Okay. So is that an evil or good? It's, it's just uh, it's just a uh, context. Hmm. Okay. That, uh, about. All right. Thank you, my friend. Uh, we don't want to waste our time. We have a guy. His name is ABC. ABC, how are you, my way, my friend? What uh, what you are what you are posting for us in the text? ABC, I'm just I'm I'm, I'm here now for you. Can't you answer this cause? CP is uh, stupid. Josh one four. Why you don't call me ABC and let us see who is the stupid? Do you do you dare? Do you dare to call me ABC? Guys, do you think this guy ABC? You see, I let him in the text chat post repeat the same thing. If you dare, I will answer your question, but I will ask you the same question. The same question you post for us. Fair is fair. Do you dare? Or you are a potato. Hmm? I want to know what is your problem with this uh, with this verse. Do you like to call me? Are you there, ABC? Or you will play dead now? Okay, then I have to block you. Sorry, I gave you a chance. And even I stop people from calling you names, but obviously you are a donkey. Because either you call me and you ask the question and everybody will laugh at you. Or you are just a stupid repeating the same thing. I will show you the same verse from the Quran, you donkey. The Quran not only says that, the Quran says that Allah He gave all the Holy Land to the Jews. Here we go. And because the Jews refused to kill the Palestinian, Allah He punished them for 40 years lost in the desert. Chapter 5, verse number 21. So ABC, you are a certified idiot, like your prophet. Hmm. So?
Any more time? Who is a Muslim have any answer for us? Look, the Kaaba is flooded by the sewage and Allah, he chose the location of the Kaaba. Allah, he sent an angel to protect Isa. Oh, sorry. Uh, Allah, he took Isa and he made someone look like Isa, but Allah did not send anyone to protect Muhammad and Muhammad died by poison. Allah, he built the Kaaba 40 years before Adam was sent to the earth. And then Adam, he did Hajj from Sri Lanka all the way to Mecca. How he can go there? Sri Lanka is in the ocean. It's not even connected to the land of India. How Adam was able to go all the way to Mecca 40 times. All those stories are proven to us something very simple, that Islam is a fraud, stupid collection of stories fairy tale stories who is a muslim here in the chat he believed really that adam was sent by allah down in the umbrella maybe to sri lanka hmm? sri lanka and I was wondering why. This is the roots of Islam. The first man for the Muslim, he's an Indian man. Coming from Sri Lanka. The first footprint of earth on a prophet Hazrat Adam. Okay. We are a prophet Hazrat Adam. 7,362 foot is the foot of Adam, brother. <laughs> 2,243 meter. Oh, this is not his feet. Sorry. This is the peak of what? Oh, okay. The foot of Adam is what? Five feet and seven inches. Uh, his, his foot is smaller than mine. I'm really disappointed because my feet is uh, my shoes is like a seven foot something. I forgot how many, you know. Only so the shoes of Adam, Prophet Adam, who came down in Sri Lanka. You see, Sri Lanka, and this is supposedly according to the Muslim, this is the footprint of a Prophet Adam. True story, brother. Am I really disappointed? I mean, my grandfather, his uh, foot is uh, smaller than mine. I thought I can use his shoe. Now it doesn't fit. Here we go. It's smaller. I thought I can use his uh, his underwear, but here we go. Obviously, he is uh, smaller than me. No, we don't lock, but you know, we don't want to waste our time. People spamming the text, repeating the same thing. You see, this guy, uh, what his name, Ultimate uh, Fort, uh, you know, we have like, we, we, we let him call me hundreds of times. And each time he called, he was the same. He never answered anything. And he say, always before he leave, he have to make a big poo-poo. The poo-poo of today, he said, and I agree with him, by the way, uh, Jesus speak Aramaic. Uh, Jesus speak all languages in the world. He's God. Actually, even their book says that when the disciple of Jesus, they said to him, you said to us, go and teach, but we don't speak those languages. Then they went to sleep and then when they wake up, each one of them, he spoke different new language. And this is in their books.
And the funny, the Muslim they claim that Jesus was only a prophet sent to the Jews, but yet his book is in Greek, and this Abdul, he admit that Jesus speak Aramaic. And he speak Hebrew for sure too. The Pakistani guy, may he change his mind? No problem, he can change his mind, but I'm not going to waste my time. I see a lot of hypocrisy there, my friend. If you are a Pakistani from Pakistan, don't tell me you are nice to the Christian. You are not. The Christian in Pakistan, they have no life. You discriminate them. You treat them like dogs. Everyone knows. So don't give me a speech about being a nice for the Christian Pakistani or not. Now, if we ask the Muslims, you know, all what we're asking the Muslims, where do you get this from? Where you Muslims, do you have any, when they say to you, uh, uh, Christianity, uh, they, uh, like one of them is supposed to, he is smart, uh, his name is Yusuf State. He said, the Christian, they are copying uh, uh, the Roman about Jesus. Uh, you know, he died uh, uh, in the cross. And this is in the Quran, you idiot. The other idiot, he said, that the Christians are copying that Jesus is a son of a virgin from the Roman, from the Greek mythology. But this is the Quran saying that, you idiot. So what we have in the media today, a bunch of idiots claim that they have knowledge. And when they speak, they do poo poo. And they're proven in front of you. We ask them, how an elephant can survive a desert? He says, you said elephant, it's only one elephant. But this is not the question. If it's an elephant or many elephants, does not make any difference. However, no, it is, it, it can, if it is one elephant and your God, Allah, he says, uh, it is an elephant, or he named the army by, the, by one elephant, that means Allah is a stupid. Because what a big deal if they have an elephant with them. What about if they have a donkey? So, unless it is something scary, they have a lot of elephants. But it's an elephant or 1,000 elephant. It's impossible. It's like saying to me, I, I found an alligator in the desert of Saudi Arabia. That is impossible. Because he cannot survive it. If it's one alligator or 1,000 alligator, it doesn't make any difference. The black stone was sent by Allah from Allah to the Kaaba, to the to Mecca. Okay, so why Allah He allowed the black stone to be flooded and the Kaaba to be flooded by pupu? One pupu or many pupu will not make any difference. It's a pupu. Pupu is a pupu. Are you going to say to me you did lie? It is not many pupu. One pupu. Not only that, they lie too. Like they say to you, there is no, uh, the bird don't do poo poo on the Kaaba. Go right now, search in Google. You will find the, 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 the poop of the, of, the, uh, uh, of the birds in the Kaaba. Let us see. Hello? Yeah, we lost you. If you are a Muslim, call me. If you are not, please don't. If the Kaaba is flooded by the sewage and Allah is the one who chose the location of the Kaaba, how Allah can be an engineer? He will be fired from his job. Allah cannot be an engineer. He chose the wrong location. What about Allah? Maybe he's like Trump. He want to invest. So he built his house in a place. Ah, he is a bad investor because he invested his place in the wrong place. He built a house in the wrong place. Anyone can explain to me how the house of Allah can be flooded? 
Is the flood is coming from Allah to punish his Kaaba? We have a person, his name Dawa Foundation. How are you, my friend? Do you like to call me Dawa Foundation? The one who is using fake pictures, we will block you. Change your name, otherwise we will block you, my friend. Anyone he come with a Muslim fake name, we will block you. Dawa Foundation, do you like to call me, Mr. Dawa? Anyone? Who is a Muslim? He have the courage. Yeah, we will block him. Anyone who use a fake name, he will be blocked. We have no place for stupid kids. Any Muhammadan? The question is still open. Can an elephant survive going in the desert of Saudi Arabia? I said, can those elephants come from Ethiopia? He said, no, they are not coming from Ethiopia. Where are they coming from? From Yemen? If there is elephant in Yemen? Still, that will not make any difference. This elephant have to travel for long distance in a desert, have no water. And this is a moving army. Are you there, Mr. Dawa? Do you like to call me, my friend? Who is a Muslim he like to call us? Anyone? All right. Well, look like they are Elephants save water inside their belly? No, that's not true. Camels do that, not elephants. And elephants, they can drink a lot of water because they need it anyway, but still they, they need water. A lot of water. And, and, and elephants, they are not really, they cannot run for long, they cannot go. And this is a desert. He will have even very tough, difficult time to walk in the desert. Any Muslim? Forget about all my questions as long as those are very tough questions for you. Why Allah did not send his bird army to protect the Kaaba when al qurmati he stole the black stone and he destroyed the Kaaba? Anyone knows? Allah, he sent an army of birds to fight those who believe in Allah supposedly because they are saying those are a Christian army. And the Muslim, they claim that Christians, they believe in Allah. Okay. So if those a Christian army, they believe in Allah. Allah, he sent his army of birds to fight those who believe in Allah against those who don't believe in Allah? Because the one who is worshipping the Kaaba at that time, according to Muslims, are pagan. They are worshipping idols. So how Allah, he side with the non-believers against the believers. And if you go in the Quran, by the way, you will see that Muhammad, obviously in the beginning, he claimed to be Christian. Oh, sorry, Nasara, which is Jehovah, like Jehovah's Witnesses. If you remember, in the chapter of the Rome, or Roman, it says, when the Roman were defeated, that the pagan Arab, they were making fun of Muhammad. Okay, why they are making fun of Muhammad? Read the interpretation. 
because those are Nasara. And obviously Muhammad is Nasara too, supposedly. And the verse says that when the Roman will be victorious again, the believers will rejoice. Okay, hold on. Why the believers will rejoice if the Roman became victorious? Any Muhammad have an answer? Do you, do, you, do you guys see the, the obvious proof that Muhammad is a fraud? So for a certain time he was Sabian. That's why he says Sabian, they will go to heaven. For a certain time he, he tried to be Nasara. And now he is saying that the Muslim will rejoice, the believers will rejoice if the Roman became victorious. And then that Medetar Muhammad, he will attack the Roman because they are kuffar. So why the Muslim will rejoice if the Roma became victorious? Give me a reason. Why Allah will destroy the army of the Christians when they are coming to destroy the Kaaba? Allah will give vict victory to the Christians and the Muslim will rejoice. Any Muslim have an idea? Because he is a fraud. With the Jews, he is a Jew, like Obama. Obama with the Muslim, he is a Muslim. He said to the Christian in the church, he hold the Bible and he prayed to Jesus. He go to Jerusalem, he is a Jew. He said with the atheist, he is an atheist. Make one sentence like the Quran, that's very easy. Inna anzalna al-finjan, wa katabna alayhi unwan. وقلنا هذا محمد إنه لحيوان آمين. Okay, can you make better? I just made it up. Prove me wrong. Can you make one sentence like the Quran? Like what? The, the verse says that the sperm coming from the backbone. I can make better because the Quran is stupid. What kind of God he claimed that the sperm of a man coming from the backbone? And I can make way better Quran than the Quran. Dawa, why you don't call me? What is the problem? Dawa, Dawa, you are Dawa Foundation. I don't see your foundation. Show me. Silence me. Answer me. What is the foundation of Islam? Blackstone, Kaaba, kissing stones and licking them, and facing stones. This is the foundation of Islam. Everything in Islam is based on stones. Is that true? I'm lying. You are blessed. I don't see that. You're a prophet himself. He died by poison. Is that a blessing from God? Hmm? Is that the blessing of God? Is it the blessing of God that the one who will find you the drugs for Corona is the Kuffar? Where is your blessing? Is it is it a blessing of God that you have a prophet who do not know how to write, how to read, and he say all those stupid things, and you must have now you are still following his footsteps, you do not know how to write, how to read, and you do not, you are not useful for anything. Who's going to find a solution for Corona? I guarantee you, uh, a Muslim scientist, his name is Muhammad, uh, Muhammad Bikhtar from, from Pakistan. Do you want to call me and show me the science of your prophet? The flying carpet of uh, Prophet Solomon? By the way, the story of a flying carpet, Muhammad, he started from my grandfather. It was my grandfather who had a flying carpet, not your, not Solomon. It's a lie. My grand grand grandfather, he used to have a flying carpet which fit for 600,000 chair. 
Muhammad, he took the story, he make it about Solomon. A stone is created by God. There is a reason about the black stone. Okay, guys, uh, I don't know if this guy is, is, is making fun of Islam or he is uh, serious. Christian prince is refuted. Okay, let us see how he refuted me. Stone is created by God. There is a reason about the black stone. Same, some people may say we are worshipping stone, but we are not. We are just appreciate what Allah has given us. What he gave you a stone? Are you stupid or what? Isn't it all the stones in the earth is made by Allah? So why only this stone, you donkey? Allah, he gave you dogs. Are you going to kiss the dogs too? Donkeys, mule. And this is supposedly an answer you are thinking about for long. So if Allah, he send you an, uh, uh, something and then you, you are going to kiss it. Let us see, we have a caller. Hello? Oh. Stupid. I mean, uh, your prophet said that the music is haram and singing is forbidden. And look what you are doing. You are a donkey, like your prophet. This is Sufi practice and this is not Islamic. They play music, it's against Islam and you will go to hell. And this is your prophet getting you busted. What about you? you open the camera and do pretty dancing for us. Uh, honestly, I will put you in the screen. I promise you. Your prophet, he claimed, that time will come and the Muslim will drink wine. They will call themselves by other names like Abu Falafel, Abu Hummus, and then they will play music or instrument. And then Allah will make them pigs and monkeys open the camera. Show me that Muhammad did not lie. Because if Muhammad is not telling a false prophecy, then Allah should make you right now, as we speak, a pig and a monkey. Do you see it? Show me one Muslim, he drink wine and he sing. Or he play music, Allah, he made him a pig and a monkey. So either Muhammad is a fraud or he's a fraud. Allah, ilaha illallah, Muhammad, the donkey of Allah. La, 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 it is a certified idiot practice. I mean, just add one word. You repeat the same sentence the whole night. You spend la ilaha illallah 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 la ilaha illallah illallah la 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 la. Shake it, shake it. What is this? And this is supposed you refute us. Okay. I'm really refuted. La ilaha illallah, 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 la ilaha illallah, illallah, aha, iha, ilaha illallah. Okay, no, no, Allah, but Buddha, but Buddha, but Buddha, no, Allah, but Buddha, but Buddha, but Buddha. Allah is an idiot, an idiot, an idiot. Allah is an idiot. Oh, we prove it. We prove it. Okay, so what is this about? Call me, talk to me, prove you wrong. Playing to me music, you idiot. Is it haram? Stupidity. They have nothing to say. They cannot answer me. Like the other guy. Ha 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 ha. This is this is speak Aramaic, you idiot. Hmm. Any Muhammadan? This is the best you can do? 
I can create a better song for you. The prophet said, the one who drink wine. The prophet said, the one who play music. The prophet said, the singing girls. The prophet said, Allah will make them pigs and monkeys. La 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 la, pigs and monkeys, pigs and monkeys, monkeys and monkeys. La 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 la, pigs and monkeys, pigs and monkeys. You will turn you. Pigs and monkeys. So why we don't see any Muslim? They are doing all those things already. All of you Muslims, you drink wine, prostitution, belly dancing. Go to Egypt. Go on Ramadan in Egypt, brother. You see nothing but two potato and uh, two shy tomato, and they are shaking them. And this guy who called himself a Christian prince refuted, go change your name because you have to prove it. Call me you coward. What refuted? You are a certified idiot. Get out of here. You see, even you see my, you, even you, 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 you name yourself by me. You don't name yourself Muhammad no more, Christian prince. He, he's a Muslim. His name is a Christian prince. And what the Christian prince refuted? Yeah. And how he refute him? Uh, elephant, they save water inside their belly. <laughs> oh boy. Any Muhammadan? Brilliant theater. Prophet Muhammad, he said that if a Muslim, he play music. Allah is going to put him. If a Muslim, he listen to thinking girls. Allah will put him. If a Muslim, he drink wine. Allah will put him. Uh, brother, how Allah will put him? Good question, sister. I'm going to ask you question. You are asking me how Allah will put him. If I tell you, you don't believe it. Uh, brother, can you tell us? Sorry, I can't tell you right now because I want you to get more excited. Ask me more. Uh, can you tell us, please? You have to ask me more because I want you to get more excited. Uh, can you please tell us? I, I want you to ask me more and more because I want to really to get excited. Okay, brother, can you tell us what is the punishment? Here we go. This is the spirit. I like the spirit. I want you to be excited. And please don't open the bottom of your uh, the, the, the chest. Okay, that like, keep it cold. And now I'll answer the question. How Allah will punish us? Allah will make them pick the monkey. Brother, is that why you look like that? Uh, uh, sister, I don't understand your question. Uh, is that why you look like that? Uh, sister, I think this question is not valid. How Muhammad can be a prophet? Read this hadith. If this hadith is true, we should find at least one. You see, he will turn them all, all those who drink wine, those who listen to music, all listen, all and Muhammad, Allah, he says, Allah will turn them into pigs and monkeys. Where are they? Either Muhammad is a false prophet or he is a false prophet. How are you, Dawa Foundation? Can you find me a foundation for this hadith? Where Muhammad he got this from? Hmm? Who is a Muslim when I call me and show me a hadith or a prophecy? Muhammad he said it became true. Any Muhammadan? Anything he said came true. Challenge. Why they go seven times? Well, you know, Muhammad is copying other. You see, the number seven is mentioned in the Bible, and Muhammad is is copying uh, other believe. It's not it's not his own. I mean, all those numbers is he is copying somebody. 
So sometimes he copied the Jews, sometimes he copied the Christians, sometimes he copied the Hindus, uh, sometimes he, he copied the Sabian, uh, everything he is copying. This is not his own. Muhammad himself, he do not know why. If you ask the Muslims why the pig is forbidden, they don't know. Any Muslim can tell us why the pigs are for, forbidden? No word mission. Why? Why? He's copying the Jews. He don't know why. If you ask a Muslim, the Quran says Israel. Who is Israel? Who is Israel? Have you ever heard of a book? Mention a guy without telling us who is he. Suddenly, Muhammad starts saying, Ya Bani Israel. Okay, who is Israel? Oh, children of Israel. Shouldn't we know first who is Israel? Who is Israel? Any Muhammad have the courage? And the knowledge. Or if you have the knowledge without the courage, it's fine with me. Any Muhammadan? <clears throat> Who is a Muslim would like to help us? Anyone? No one? I am willing to receive a call from you and you give me the question about Islam you like me to ask you. Anyone? By the way, do you know what the name of the elephant? Anyone knows what the name of the elephant? Uh, this guy, Ultimate uh, Fart, he was talking about. You will not believe it, what his name he have the same name as Muhammad. You believe it? Muhammadin? <laughs> Even the elephant have a name. His name is Muhammad? Or Mahmoud? Oh, man. So now we have a prophet elephant and prophet Muhammad. Anyone? So what, are we out of customers now? My Skype is dead. There's nobody is texting or
anyone? <clears throat> okay, any two? Final call, any Muslim? It's okay, CP, what is okay? I will ask in text. Why well, you don't call me? I mean, what you will lose? Isn't it nicer if you call me? You, you look at your name, your name is Dawa Foundation. I mean, how are you gonna do Dawa, but you don't uh, talk? Is that a mute Dawa? Okay, that was, you know, you answer me in text. Why you kiss the black stone? That was, why you kiss the black stone? I'm waiting for your answer. Don't call me, no problem. Why you Muslim kiss the black stone? Do you know? Use use English, use English, Dawa. I mean, you are in English chat. Please use English. It is Sunnah. That's wonderful, guys. He kissed it because the Prophet kissed it. But why the Prophet kissed it? I mean, what is the answer? Look at the answer. I asked you why you kiss it. You said to me, it is Sunnah, which means because Muhammad kissed it. Okay, but I'm asking you why you kiss it. If Muhammad kiss it, that's not an excuse. Why Muhammad kiss it? Sunnah mean Muhammad kiss it first and you kiss it after him. Okay, because he kiss it. But why he kiss it? Why? Okay, Prophet Muhammad he instruct us. Okay, look at this answer. Why he why he did that? If you Muslim claim not to be pagan, it's a stone. Why your prophet he instruct you to kiss the stone? It's a stone. Are you pagan? It's a stone in the shape of a vagina. So why you kiss it? And even your books says that the women they use to touch their private part and they place their hands inside it when they have their period. He said it's a command. I mean, are you stupid or what? Are you playing dumb? I, it's a command, but why the command? Don't make me lose my patience, my friend. Don't make me block you. You see, they say Christian prince, you block Muslims. Look, I, I know. I'm wasting my time. Why he order you to kiss it? It's a command, we got it, but why the command? Are you pagan? Hmm? Are you a pagan yourself? You Muslims, you kiss stones? Why you kiss it? What do you think? What is the reason? I'm waiting for. We kiss the Hajar Aswad because uh, Rasulullah kissed it. Look at this stupid answer. Guys, we kiss the black stone because the prophet kissed it. 
not a single Muslim all this time ask Muhammad why you kiss it? Are you crazy people? A guy he kisses stone, shouldn't you ask him, Prophet, why you are kissing the stone? Huh, whatever he kissed Muhammad. What if Muhammad he kissed the ass of a donkey, you will kiss it too? Hmm? What if Muhammad decide to kiss an ass of a donkey? Huh, the Prophet kissed the ass of the donkey, let us kiss it too. What is this? It's a stupid to kiss a stone. It's a stone. Why you kiss the stone? And this is stone in the shape of a woman's vagina. So why you kiss it? Are you kissing women a private part, brother? Ah, you are one of those people. You like it there, don't you? What is this? Is it true that the one who touched the black stone, Allah forgive his sin? Hmm? Let us ask Zach and Naik why you kissed the black stone. Ta -da 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 ta da da ta da da ta da da Christian Prince, I told you, I'm not going to answer you. Uh, just hold on, man. I did not ask you anything yet. I know the question. How do you know the question? You are going to ask me about why Prophet he said we make us monkeys. Uh, no, no. I'm sure this is the question. No, it's not the question. You are going to ask me, Allah, he promised that if we drink wine and we play music, Allah is going to make us monkeys and pigs. Hey, no, this is not the question. I'm sure this is the question. Hey, Zakir Naik, it's not the question. You want a bet? Uh, what do you mean you want a bet? I thought the bet is haram. Okay, I tried you. You want to bet that the betting is haram? Ah, so you want to prove to me now that betting is haram by betting? Exactly. Uh, that's smart idea, but uh, I have the front question for you. I know the question. What do you mean you know the question? You just told me it's about the monkey and the pig. It's not. I'm telling you, it's not about the pig and the monkey. Okay, let us say for the sake of argument, the question is not about pig and monkey. But I can prove it. It's about pig and monkey. How you can prove that? Let me ask you a question. Go ahead. Do you have a banana at home? Uh, banana? Uh, no. Christian Prince, I threaten you to open your camera and throw me your refrigerator. Uh, uh, first, if I have banana, I'm not going to put it in the fridge. It's going to damage. Exactly. But because you are a Christian, you are stupid. You are going to put it in the refrigerator. Uh, because we are Christian, we are stupid. We put it in the refrigerator. Uh, okay. Where are you Muslims? Where you put the a banana. I can tell you. What do you mean? I'm very shy. You're very shy. Why? It's a. We put it inside the black stone. Brother, you put the banana inside the black stone. Why? Because the black stone is like refrigerator. Natural one. And this is why all of us, you were asking questions why we kiss it. In fact, we are not kissing the black stone, we are kissing the banana, which is inside the black stone. And we lick it too. Oh boy. Any Mohammedan have a comment? We kiss the black stone because it's sent from paradise. But Adam and Eve, they came from paradise, which means my ass is coming from paradise too. Do you want to kiss it? If Adam and Eve, they came from paradise, that's mean all of us, we came from paradise, including my ass. You want to kiss it, my friend? 
May Allah bless you. I mean, how smart you are. Anything come from paradise, you can say. I have a picture of, a, of, of our father Adam as he was taking a shower. Do you want to kiss it too? He was in paradise too. What a stupid religion. Hey brother, we get the black stone because it's coming from heaven. Ta -la 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 -la. <laughs> Shaitan was in heaven, you idiot. Isn't it the Quran says that Allah, he punished Shaitan, he sent him down from heaven. Are you going to kiss the ass of Shaitan? Crazy people. Literally crazy. Hika, behave, otherwise I will send you free shipping and hand it into Allah. And trust me, I can do it. I'm connected. Allah, he speak Arabic only. Let me call Allah for you. Taradam, 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 taradam. Chris and friends, I don't even call me. What is that, can I, what's, what are you doing in the bedroom of Allah, man? I'm calling Allah number. How you answer it? I'm going to tell you. I learned how to do hacking. And right now I'm hacking the phone number. You did hack the phone number of Allah? Why you are doing that? Because I am asking Allah forever to answer me. When are you going to take your soul? Okay. I didn't answer me. Okay. So I did that to spy on him. Uh -huh. You are doing exactly as the Quran said. Exactly, Christian Prince. Do you know what the Quran said? That there is Dini, they try to spy at Allah and Allah, he threw them in their ass. Aren't you afraid that Allah will shoot you on your ass? <laughs> What's that and egg? What's up? <laughs> that and egg, come on. What are you doing? Crystal breath. The ass of that and egg is very small. It's very hard to hit it. If, 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 if. No wonder that your jacket is three times bigger than your shoulders. So nobody can shoot you, right? So the bullet will go like left or right. I will do that myself, huh? So nobody can assassinate me. I'm learning from you. Hmm. Is it true, Muslims, that Shaitan he spy at Allah, and Allah he shoot him by a star? Me, it's a true story. And now Zakir, I call Allah. I find Zakir Naik on the line. Shaitan is going to the bedroom of Allah. And is spying at him, and then Allah He shoot him. <clears throat> Thank you, uh, uh, Len Wati. Well, don't you know for me because I speak many hours, so my voice. Sometimes I lose my voice totally. It's not easy screaming with those you know, people, what you can do. It's very tough. It's very tough for Allah. Even Shaitan, he want to spy at him, and Allah, he start, start, start war. Star start war. <laughs> Allah playing games, huh? Allah have a screen, and he have like a, a shooting handle, like... <laughs> and Shaitan like... Ah! And Shaitan, his ass is red right now as we speak. In different verse, Allah in the Quran says that he made the stars for a purpose. Number one, decoration. Yeah, makes sense for our eyes. But we don't see all the stars, so what's the point? And the other reason, brother, is to shoot Shaitan in his ass which is very, very scientifically accurate.
Actually, I remember once was a genie or shaitan, sorry, a thief. He came to our house in the mountains. And then my grandma, she grabbed the gun. She have a big rifle. She said, let me shoot the shaitan in his ass. But he looked like a man, by the way. But I think she's talking about the man. But she called him shaitan. But Allah looked like he heard my grandma and he made a verse about what she said. Uh, Dawa Foundation. This is the last warning. If you want to talk here, speak English so I will know what you are saying. Otherwise, my friend, I'm going to block you. English, please. Any Muslim really he approve what the Quran is saying? Who is a Muslim agree with this? That Allah he showed little tiny genie as by a star and this genie he live in the earth so in order to destroy the shaitan you have to kill the whole earth you are shooting a star my friend okay we have to uh, we have to hide him that was foundation uh, this is the last warning maybe he have a delay speak in english in the chat otherwise i will block you You have no foundation, Mr. Dawa. You are a black stone kisser. You go around the stone. You pray in direction of a stone. Officially, you are pagan. Everything in your cult is about stones. Okay, here we go. Let me block you. I warned you. You don't want to listen. No problem. Islam is based on stones. When they pray to Allah, they face a stone. They bow down to a stone. When they want to get close to Allah, they kiss a stone. When they want to be upset from shaitan, they throw stones from Allah at shaitan. Stone religion. Actually, there's a big, big sheikh in Egypt. He said, what I will do to you? Islam is based on stones. We pray in front of stones. We go around the stones. We face stones. And we kiss a stone. That is the truth. All right. I think we are done for today. Guys, tomorrow we are going to be live on air in this account, Quality of Life. Quality of Life is, uh, let me post for you uh, a link so you can join us there if you really care. In Quality of Life, we don't talk about Islam. We talk about different topics. Uh, so if you care to join us, feel free. Uh, let us see. Let us uh, pause for you the last video we have, which is yesterday. And from there you can subscribe and you can join. All right. Here we go. This is, I will post the link in the chat. Please subscribe to this channel. When the video is open you can subscribe and uh, you can join us tomorrow we will be there usually i am not here friday saturday sunday but today i said to myself i did not spank muhammad for three days man. i mean this is disgusting my hand is so clean i'm not used to this not in the time of corona actually I'm, i mean i'm afraid that corona will come to me i'm not spanking muhammad so i said even muhammad himself he will be upset now But always in Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we are in Quality of Life account. And this is the link again for those who like to subscribe. Click at the link and you will join us. Be sure you turn on the notification. And uh, uh, we will see tomorrow what the topic. And see what we will do for tomorrow. What time tomorrow? Maybe in the morning. M morning my time will be night in Indonesia time. I'm not sure really. I have four wives waiting for me. We are going to make, you know, do you remember the story of a prophet Moses, prophet uh, uh, Solomon, David, whatever his name, when he uh, decided to have to have sex with the uh, 99 women. So he will make each one of them have a baby.
and he decided to have sex with all of them in one night. I mean, this guy, the whole year was doing what? Suddenly now, in one night, he would have boom, boom, boom with all of them. Hmm. And why he want to have sex with them? So he would have babies from them and they will do jihad. As simple as that. And the funny Muhammad, because he is a fraud, each time he say the hadith, he say it differently. Sometimes he say 70, sometimes he say 99. Uh, eh. Depend in the lie mood. You know, so uh, you know, uh, I'm, I, I want to have uh, I want to have ninety nine uh, boy today, and the guy like he is assured that he will have boys only. Read this hadith with me before we go. Abu Huraira reported that Allah Apostle said, "When Allah Apostle said, when you when you see they say Allah Apostle said, that's mean Pupu is coming." Big poopoo. -poo. This is Prophet Muhammad is specialized in poop -poo, Corona poopoo. -poo. Prophet of Allah said that Suleiman, the son of David, son of Dawood, once said, I will go around in 90 and at night of to my 90 wives. Suleiman have 90 wives. Christian prince don't even have one. Is that fair? I mean, is that fair? I will go now make tea myself. My my voice is gone. Nobody can give me water. And Suleiman have 90 wives. Okay. And every, and the Muslim says, do you know how many Suleiman, how many wives he have in the Bible? <laughs> and every one of them will give birth to a child. Who will grow up? And as a horseman and fight for the cause of Allah. I mean, the story is convincing. Suleiman, he did not have sex with his wife for a long time. And then he was watching YouTube. And he saw uh, a guy in the movie. It's called uh, Shoot uh, or, uh, uh, or uh, Shoot uh, Tutti Frutti. Chuti, 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 fruity. So Suleiman, he saw them kissing and doing things there, brother. I cannot explain to you. Suleiman, he got excited. So he said to himself, tonight, tonight, tonight I will go around and I will do it all in one round. Ninety women waiting for me tonight. And brother, those women, they are ready. So a man, he have no time to waste. In one night, he will do all those 99 wives. I mean, no time. Okay, hold on. Let me get my calculator because, you know, by the way, we are the Arab. We are the first one who created the calculator. Let me log on in Skype so we, get, we don't get more. All right. In my uh, yeah, we are the Arab. We are the first one who made calculator. We used to we used to call it uh, uh, Taco Bell. All right. Uh, so he have ninety nine wives. Depend in the story here. Here here he says 90. 99 wives, and he would do that at the say at night time eight hours. Hmm? In eight hours, me. In every hour, Prophet Solomon, he have to finish with 13 women, brother. If, 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 if. Okay. So, if it is <clears throat> uh, 13 women, divide 60 minutes. Oh, boy. He have to have orgasm. Every uh, twenty, uh, uh, not uh, uh, twenty-one second. What uh, me? Oh, hold on, but 
Yeah, but I don't know. This is very complicated, brother. Uh, every every four minutes, mean this guy is a rabbit. He's a rabbit. In four minutes, you finish, man. I mean, what's wrong with you? This is the time it takes to 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 brush your teeth. Four minutes. So Prophet Solomon, he asked his wife, take off your panty. By the time she finished taking off her panty, he have orgasm. <laughs> oh boy. And then, brother, the story is getting more exciting. After he, the, the poor guy, he is sweating all night, doing boom, boom. Then again, 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 then he, he received a message from a Christian prince. He told him that the Christian prince he is a challenge in Zachary. A, a, a prophet Solomon, he said, I'm busy. Don't you think I'm a busy? I can't even breathe. There again, there again, there again, then, then, there again, there again, there again, there again. Okay. After all this, there again, there again, Allah, he made him half, half child. And the hadith says, half a child half a human why because he forgot to say inshallah <laughs> he didn't say inshallah okay hold on now we learned how not to get your wife a bread net you do not need to use anything or protection don't say inshallah she will not have a baby it's obvious can't you see the guy, he slept with 99 women. He could not make any of them have a baby. Why? He did not say, inshallah. Now we knew how we can stop the population from growing. Don't say, inshallah. I want to know how my grandfather have more than 90 boys of his kids. And he did not say, inshallah, ever before he do it. Unbelievable me. So this is how we do. Don't say inshallah. Okay, if any lady wanna get married from me, I have terms and conditions. I don't like to have babies, so please don't say inshallah before we start doing the the, the brum brum. Because if you say inshallah, you will have a boy. boy, boy. <laughs> I mean, this is this is a true story. This is, must be true. I mean, this is this, and here this there is wisdom here. You have to say inshallah before you do boom boom, brother. I mean, what's wrong with you? This is the key. You say, inshallah, okay, how the Hindus get their children, how the Buddhas get their children, how the Christians get their children, how the atheists get their None of them says, inshallah. Me. That's deep. That is the wisdom of a prophet. His name is Muhammad. His name, brother, found in the Bible, brother. Brother, do you know that Muhammadim is in the Bible? Hmm. I mean, a stupidity have no address, have no ethnic, have no language. Islam, it does have. The second you follow this cult, you have to be forgetting about your brain. You have to throw it in the side. As simple as that. So, brother, I'm going to go right now and we will do a lot of brum brum with my wives and we will not say inshallah to guarantee that we are not going to have babies, especially in the time of Corona. I mean, imagine there's Corona and now I want to take my baby because we are Arab, brother. We are Arab. If, if I do brum brum with my wife, my wife, she will carry her baby and she will deliver him in less than one hour. And the Prophet says that. Hey, let me show you. The Prophet said that if a Muslim, a man, 
he desire to have a baby in heaven he will carry him and he will deliver him in less than 50 minutes Sa'a in Arabic today mean an hour but at that time it's equal to 15 minutes I don't know even how the Muslim will deliver the baby from where that's really confusing but eh, Allah can do that brother you know? when a believer want a child in paradise he will conceive it and born and growing up in short while according to his desire doesn't say short while by the way it says sa in an hour which is equal to 15 minutes and now no the believer when he desire a child in paradise he shall be carried and born and complete in an hour so brother you are going to give baby you have sex brother and then the baby will be born and then the baby will have a beard in less than 15 minutes you see here it says hour it's correct translation by the way as the word saying sa but sa this is now as we say but in the old day the word sa is like between 15 to 20 minutes right very 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 lovely lovely very lovely hmm. anyway guys uh, it's time to go i want to say thank you again for being here don't forget to join us to the other uh, channel where we uh, we do live broadcast every Friday, Saturday, Sunday, as we say. And this is the channel. Let me send you the link again uh, so you can join us and subscribe if you care. And remember, in that channel, we don't talk about the garbage of Muhammad. No garbage of Muhammad there. You can watch some videos there so you can get an idea. And I'm sure you will enjoy it and you can join in the conversation. We take a, uh, we take calls there from Christians. Here we take calls only from Muslims, as you know, because we want to debate Muslims. But there we take calls from Christians. So if you are interested, you can join us. And until we see you soon again, God is willing, I leave you in peace. And I pray to the Lord to keep you all healthy, safe. Uh, we pray to the Muslim to stay safe too from corona christians jews hindus we pray for everybody we are not the same as muhammad who teach hate and uh, garbage uh, we love the muslims we pray for them to stay healthy we pray i pray actually for iran they are suffering a lot we pray for italy we pray for many countries who they are suffering we pray for the old people to survive this virus uh, but this virus taught us a big lesson that a human being should be smarter don't think that you are going to live. Don't think you are really powerful. You are nothing. Literally nothing. Little tiny virus make the whole earth tremble. Armies who have nuclear. Armies who they are super powerful. They are in disability. Literally. So this virus, he taught us a big lesson that we should not be naive, stupid, believing that we are God. We cannot depend on ourselves. And I say to the Muslims who say in the beginning that Corona is an army of Allah and then they change their statement, suddenly it is the army of the Jews and then they change their statement, it's the army of the American. Which army it is? <laughs> Madness. Thank you very much. We pray to the Lord to keep you all safe, healthy, and in the Lord we trust and no one else except Him. Thank you. God bless you and see you soon. Bye-bye.